All right, what's up, escapees? Happy Monday. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. Let me go ahead and fix my headset right off the bat. All right, we are almost good to go. Let me go ahead and just jump back over to our Twitch page here. Oh, you know what? I completely... Okay, we're not ready. I forgot to fix the title and all that stuff. Uh, okay, let me think of a title real quick. I don't know. Soul Goes Back to School. Let's see. Good Girl Making Bad Choices. How about... I'm just gonna switch it. School Girl. Oh, thank you so much! School Girl Making Bad Choices. There we go. Yo, what's up, Tri-State? You're the first person in the channel. Welcome to the stream. I completely forgot to set my title and stuff, so my apologies there. Let me uh, go ahead and fix that. Good, good, good. All right, let me test the audio. Just started up a few minutes ago here. All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, we're synced up, excellent. Don't worry if you hear that echo, I will get rid of that right now. All right, looks good. And huge shout out, Hark Now, what did I hear? Tri-State Saint. Thank you so much, Tri-State. With the subscription, 11 months. Thank you so much, Tri-State. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm a cheerleader now, too. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Carpe Noctum? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the amazing French maid outfit. If anybody missed it, if anybody's out there watching the VOD, I did wear the French maid outfit yesterday. I think that's the one I'm going to use for Halloween this year. So once again, shout out to Carpe Noctum for allowing that to happen. Thank you, Carpe Noctum. Thank you, Tri-State, for the uh, subscription as well. Let me go ahead and... Sorry, guys, I wasn't expecting all of this right off the bat. Uh, all right, let me get some sub hype in the channel for Tri-State. If anybody's next to their keyboards, and you're the first person in the chat too, Tri-State, thank you for doing that as well. Yeah, if you haven't seen some of my pics over on Instagram, please consider checking them out. They're actually, well, I took some pictures in this outfit today. I just need to edit them, add a little bit of color and stuff. Um, but yeah, actually not not too bad, escapees. Got some good pics. Got a little bit of the naughty pics going on over on OnlyFans. But I didn't get too, too naughty, so don't worry, escapees. <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one's actually worried about that. Uh, here's a little tidbit of the pics I took today as well. Yeah, cheerleader outfit. Outfit added to the list. Oh, cool, we got that one. Pretty much the same picture as yesterday, though, to be honest. Got me, one of me and my dog, one of me and Lady. Woo! Yeah, thank you so much, Carpe Noctum. I appreciate it. Carpe Noctum is the person making the outfits happen. He probably got this one too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he probably got me the schoolgirl outfit. But yeah, a couple of uh, new pics that I just got to edit a little bit later. Stuff. Oh, sorry. Cut my head off right there. Yeah. There we go. Notice too. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Yeah, I'll let people figure it out on their own. Now I was gonna say, uh, notice how sometimes I do, uh, oh, look at me and Lady, Lady got me, or she, uh, she definitely took center stage in this photo. Yeah, Lady, Lady is the focus there. <laughs> I'm like behind her ear, I didn't even notice. I knew she was blocking me out, but I didn't know that's what the picture is gonna look like. That's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know why, but the lighting outside always looks better Better than the pictures I took inside. Pics I took inside sucked today, at least in my opinion. <laughs> I know, I didn't like it. I mean, it's a typical selfie and stuff. 
But the lighting outside, man, much better. None of these are edited yet, so... Yeah, lighting outside, much, much better. Yeah, who knows at this point, right? Yeah, thank you, Tristy. Yeah, lady stealing the show. Indeed. Also, my apologies, you guys, if uh, anybody sent me any DMs anywhere. Uh, I have not checked my direct messages. I do apologize. Man, I just haven't been feeling... <sighs> well, we won't get into it and stuff, but a lot of times, I'll be honest, my uh, direct messages are just kind of, I don't know, in a way they're a little depressing to read, or it's just, you know, the same old stuff over and over again. So I'll be honest, sometimes I take a break from reading uh, DMs, so I'm backed up about like two weeks or so. I do apologize if anybody is in the DMs, you know, trying to reach out. I did! I was really proud of myself. Yay! I did answer any public comments that I got uh, from any of my pictures recently. So I was answering public comments. Woo! I know. I'm sorry, guys. It's just... Uh, sometimes when you open up the direct messages, or I don't know, I just feel like it's the same conversation every time, just a different person when it comes to direct messages and stuff. It's just, I don't know, for me, it just gets depressing to read after a while. So I do apologize, you guys, um, if anybody's, you know, in the DMs, like, waiting and stuff. Yeah, pets are always the show stealers. I do have my little chihuahua right here. Uh, she'll probably, I'm not going to wake her up right now, but she'll probably make a, an appearance a little bit later. So, uh, okay, real quick. Uh, if you guys are waiting for gameplay, give me about, like, ten minutes or so. Uh, first, let me go ahead and post that we're going live. Do, 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 do. But thank you. How was everybody's weekend? I do have a story to tell, though. So, if you missed it, last stream, also during the beginning of stream, I was talking about my niece and how she kind of came in and came away and was just, like, you know, telling me story about her life and stuff. And so, you know, long story short, it kind of, I don't know, it just, it kind of affected me mentally and all that. So I didn't really, I don't know, I just got kind of like in a sad mood. Or I mean, you know, I became somebody's therapist just randomly. I wasn't even expecting it or anything. And so, well, a continuation of that story is, remember how I told you guys that my niece's birthday was coming up? Well, that happened this Friday. And while I didn't go, because I was like, I don't know, there's just too many, there was too many um, unknown variables. If you remember, my niece was fighting with her mom. She got fired from her job. Um, she has this new boyfriend that's kind of a little bit shady and stuff. Well, let me add a couple hashtags on this picture real quick. Well, there's uh, more to that story, escapees, that happened during her birthday. I remember this is my niece that, you know, I wasn't very happy with because she had this really cute puppy uh, that she had just gotten like a couple months ago or so. And they went and abandoned it because they couldn't take care of it because it was pooping and peeing in the house. They went and abandoned it at a park. And so that, I'll admit, that disgusted me. I was like, that's terrible, you know. That made me look at my niece in a different light, of course. I mean, I knew she was the type already because, you know, long story, and I do love my niece, it's just long story short, you know, there's people in this world that make the wrong decision, and you can tell them as many times as you want to try to make the right decision, and they're just, you know, not going to do it, they're just going to do what they want. So, you know, my niece right now, she's kind of like on a bender with uh, different types of drugs and stuff like that, alcohol. And uh, it turns out that her boyfriend is being physically abusive. And so I, I learned that after the party, I guess. Uh, my brother, which is my niece's dad, uh, came home and told us pretty much all about it. I guess she, you know, had a, a little bit to drink and she started talking more. Not only that, uh, we had given my... Okay, so my mom gave my and this is where we messed up or I guess my mom messed up or all of us but um my niece's boyfriend had come down to pick up her birthday present and stuff and long story short me and mom didn't know what to buy her so we were just going to give her some money and uh, 
basically we were all kind of after we gave her because we thought she was going to show up with her boyfriend but it turns out it was just him by himself to pick up the money to buy her a surprise gift and all that and so of course you know we're nice people we're gullible we believed it and uh long story short it kind of made me like it left a weird taste in my mouth i was like mom i hope that money gets to melissa because to be honest I don't know, you know, I mean, you give it to some random guy, he could easily pocket it and be like, they didn't give me nothing. Or what ended up happening, though, later on is that uh, my brother had seen the present that uh, that her boyfriend had got her. And, you know, our the money that me and my mom gave to her was supposed to be separate, right? It wasn't supposed to be for him to go buy her a present, say it's from him and stuff. I don't know, it got all weird and twisted. Basically, what we think is the guy pocketed some of that cash and then he went and bought my niece you know a crappy little present according to uh my brother and stuff who did go to the party and so we're like jesus christ you know we're never going to do that again you know never give anybody else money that's supposed to go to somebody because they never get it you know and he went and bought her something stupid probably pocketed the other money i don't know so anyways that was stressful um god my family is just weird escapees it's, it's super super odd not just me, I, I'm probably, even though I'm the childish, childless one at 33, have no husband, you know, all that stuff, I still think I'm pretty much the most normal of my family members. The rest of them are all sad to say and knock on wood. They're drug addicts, they've gotten into meth, uh, alcoholics, they have gout, you know, things that are brought on by alcoholism and stuff like that. And it's just like, it sucks because, and it's my own fault. You know, I should have left. I should have gotten out of here, um, as, you know, earlier in life and stuff. But I, I'm stuck here. I promised to help my mom out. She's 73, seven, going to be 70. Uh, actually, she's going to be 73 in November. She's 72 right now. And, uh, you know, so that's why I kind of, I have a weird, like a huge age gap between me and my brother and that's why I have so many like nieces and nephews that are like my age and then I have great nieces great nephews and stuff but uh yeah I mean it's just it's terrible escape fees okay and then the other thing is that even though this guy's been abusing her he didn't get her the right present this and that he's cheating as well he's talking to some other chick and stuff we learned that my niece which she likes to do she's got two baby daddies she wants to have a baby with this new guy too like, oh my god, I mean, it's just crazy. I think, and my reasoning for it too, or what I think why she's doing that, is because I think she wants to, like, trap him. Trap him, but it hasn't worked, you know, first baby daddy, ex-husband gone, second baby daddy, he's kind of around, but he's a deadbeat kind of drug dealer type guy. And then, you know, this will be her third baby daddy if she decides to, you know, take that step. It's not going to glue him down, though, you know. For any young ladies out there thinking that having a baby with some guy is going to really glue him down, no, it's not. It'll keep you in contact with him for the next 18 years, probably. But, you know, it's not going to glue anybody down. Won't even, dude, my niece herself has already given her son, one of her sons, uh, to his dad because she wasn't able to take care of him and stuff, you know. It didn't even glue her down, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I'm still trying to add hashtags over here, sorry. Let's just go with the easy one, Starfield. So yeah, that's my little continuation. If you missed the first part of this story here, feel free to check the VOD at the beginning of the stream too. After I talk about this, I won't talk about it anymore, escapees. It's just, man, it's so depressing, you guys. I'm trying not to let it, you know, affect me. But it's like, ah. Uh, you know, I have to hear about it every day too. So it's like, man. It starts to wear on you. But I'll be honest, I'm glad that I didn't go to that party. I mean, I'm pretty sure she would have been very happy if I went to the party. But I, I'll be honest, me personally, I'm happy that I didn't go. Because I, I saw who went later and it was a bunch of like my brother's friends who my bro is 50 this year. Um, once again, my mom's 72. She had my bro when she was like 22. And she had me when she was 40, 39-ish. So that's why there's a, there's a 17 year age gap between me and my brother. So my bro's friends were there and my niece's boyfriend was there and pretty much no one else, some of his family. But you know, and it sucks because I, I get her, you know, I get it. I don't have friends either. 
and that's why I don't throw parties because if I threw a party it'd just be like me and my mom <laughs> and probably my brother and maybe some of my nieces and nephews that show up but no I get it you know I don't I don't have friends either so that's why I don't throw parties but uh you know, I ended up not going because there's just too many unknown variables. She's been fighting with her mom. Uh, like I said, she's been fighting with the boyfriend and all that. I think she should kick him to the curb, but you know, no one's going to listen to me and stuff. Love is a weird thing, escapees. All right. Once more. And I'll read chat in a second. I'm just trying to get this video out. It says we're going live now. I think that's pretty much everything, right? Yeah, maybe. Yes. All right, I think we're good, escapees. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Ben Biggins? I know, right? Babies solve everything, don't they? Oh, man. I know, right? I read that with Sarge. 100%. No, I get it, Ben Biggins. Trust me. I live in an area with a high teenage pregnancy uh, statistic and stuff, so I was very proud of myself to, you know, make it out of that and all that. <laughs> also, I was fat growing up, so, you know, wasn't any chance of that happening. Well, to be honest, actually... <laughs> There were, you know, I mean, hey, anyone can make a baby. It just takes two people. Yeah, total novella, right? Yeah, I got that Mexican family stuff going on. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month, by the way. <laughs> oh, gosh. But don't, hey, I'm not perfect either, escapees. I realize, and you know, I'm kind of like a black sheep. Honestly, too, like, I'm a square, dude. I am boring. I'm vanilla as F when it comes to like parties and things like that. I can, you know, I can be still escape at a party and stuff, but then I end up being like the main entertainer and I hate that. Or like the, the mo you know, every, the attention goes to me and stuff and I'm like, oh, um, you know, so I don't, I don't really like doing that all the time. Or if I go to the party, I know that it's, you know, I'm probably going to be the one having to talk a lot. Um, so, you know, I kind of shy away. But wow, what else was I going to say about that? I was going to say something else about that, too. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, you went to a wedding. Hey, congratulations, Carpenoctum. That's fun. See, that's a good part about having friends. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind of feel like the black sheep of the family because I, I'm a square. I was a high-performing student uh, in school and stuff. I graduated, you know, top 10 and all that. And I don't drink hardcore. I do drink like socially and stuff and I get a little tipsy and I've had my moments, trust me. I guess what I'm saying is, you know, it sounds a lot like I'm judging my family and stuff, but I'm not perfect either, escapees. I'm pretty much the black sheep. I'm boring compared, you know, everybody, I'm pretty sure when they talk about me, they're like boring, you know, she only when she drinks is the only time she's fun. Um, you know, I'm not married yet, have no kids. Um, I am taking care of my mom. I do live in her house still. That's seen as a big pfft, negative and stuff, but I, you know, I've gotten over it, but I can tell, you know, people think I'm just some leech or some mooch hanging out, but I do work hard here at the home. I feel like I'm a housewife. I just have no husband. I do a lot of cleaning, cooking. Um, I get my exercise in, you know, it's, I am preparing to someday have a kid and stuff. I hope at least one kid because uh, I want my lineage to continue and all that. But I'm not, I'm putting that over. Remember, my mom had me at age 39. I'm 33, so I'm cool with waiting escapees. I say by 35 to like 37-ish, I'll start thinking about that stuff. Um, you know, maybe popping out a kid and all that. But, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. I, what I'm saying is, you know, I judge my family a lot, but hey, there's one finger I'm pointing, there's three fingers pointing back, so... You know, I, I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm not not the you know best either here. <laughs> I have no real job. I stream. You know, there's a lot of negatives to me too. So I never mean any like super super hate or anything towards my family. <laughs> Thank you, Korean cowboy. Yeah, yeah. I, I do have all of you guys. True. If I ever need you, I'll just reach out on the internet somehow. Help! Help! I'm just joking. Cuba Libre, says in Biggins. <laughs> Viva! Depending on the circle of people, being the black sheep is a good thing. See, and that's kind of like, I'm okay with being the black sheep too. Uh, and you know, I don't, I don't really know if that's what the family calls me and stuff. That's just what I think. 
probably, you know, probably everybody calls me because the rest of my family are kind of like, you know, partiers, like to, you know, they like to have fun and get down and stuff. And I, me too, but I'm more of like a wet blanket where it's like, oh, but you know, we got to be safe, everyone. And when I was in high school and stuff, I was like, no weed, no weed's bad. You know, my mom was like that too. And man, we were all against weed and drugs. Say no to drugs, kids. And, you know, and surprise, surprise, both me and my mom now, uh, in our older ages now, I took herb and she eats little edibles and stuff that I get her from the store, which I did not introduce her to it. It was my nephew that introduced her to edibles. Um, I was just a pot smoker. Mom didn't want to have anything to do with smoke. Um, but she, you know, she understood. She's like, hey, well, you know, you do what you got to do. At least you don't drink is what she said. <laughs> At least you don't drink and go because my nephew has wrecked so many cars, escapees. Whew. Uh, so is my brother. Uh, my niece, she has done good with that. She hasn't wrecked anything. Well, she's wrecked one, but, you know, so have I, too. I'm not judging. I wrecked a car. Not had nothing to do with alcohol, though. Um, man, that's a time I want to forget, though. But, uh, yeah, you know, it just it happens. You got old parents, too. How old are your parents, Carpenoctum? I grew up with my mom and my grandma. And my mom was born in 1950. My grandma was born in 1922. Rest in peace. She passed away in 2009. Uh, when I was a sophomore in college, which sucked, dude is right, right next to my finals in the winter. So I was torn between coming home, you know, and or staying there. And my mom and everyone was like, you know, it's up to you, but you can stay if you want. And I did choose to stay, which, I, you know, I kind of have a little bit of guilt. But I did talk to my grandma, you know, towards the end and all that. Uh, but yeah, you know, I do not have a dad. I mean, I do. It turns out my dad's alive. I used to tell people he was deceased and stuff just to, you know, back in growing up in the 90s and the early 2000s and all that, it was uh, more of a faux pas to kind of have divorced parents and, you know, parents that were never married. Shh. But, uh, you know, so I always say, you know, people would be like, oh, what happened to your dad? And I'm like, oh, you know, he passed away. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. You know, knowing that it, full well that I was lying about it. But yeah, it turns out my dad is still alive. He lives somewhere in Texas, which is funny because that's where my mom's side of the family is too. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe meet him someday. Mid and late 70s, same Carpenoctum. It's scary though, huh? Watching your parents get older and stuff. You know, grew up with the kids of your first cousin, same Carpenoctum. It's crazy too. Yeah, I was like the youngest of the youngest. So my mom was the youngest of her generation five kids so my actual aunts and uncles and stuff already had kids then my mom being the youngest she had my brother who is technically he was the youngest before I came along so my bro's 50 right now all of my actual cousins are like 60 50 plus years old they're about 60 or so and uh so yeah, all of my first cousins too, they're about my same age and a little bit older. Some of my first cousins are like 40 already and stuff. I'm like, damn. But, uh, you know, it's wild. Nope, I had him not at all. Not in my life at all. Yep. Yo, what's up, Lusty Bard? Good to see you, Lusty. And Nightbot right there with the links. But yeah, just a little story time escapees. If you missed the first story, it kind of connects to it. Uh, last stream in the beginning, I was ranting about my niece and stuff, and so we just had a little continuation of that. But uh, yeah, I'll get to the game because I know y'all are probably waiting. But how was everybody else's weekend? Mine was just kind of weird, kind of, I don't know, a little bit wild. There is something else that happened between uh, my mom, my niece's boyfriend, and my bro, but I can't really talk about that on stream too much because it might be... Let's just say we were trying to help them out, but uh, no good deed goes unpunished <laughs> involving money. So not only did he, you know, kind of make off with some of my niece's birthday money and stuff, he didn't give it all to her or give any of it to her. He just went and bought her a gift, uh, which we were hoping she got, you know, all the cash and all that. But uh, he also ended up swindling uh, my mom in a different way, but I just can't talk about that on stream. <laughs> Let's just say... Uh, it may or may not involve something about, you know, food stamps or something like that. But anyways, what's my reason for wanting to meet him? Uh, I honestly don't care. 
if I meet him or not. The only person that I think I would maybe want to meet is my half sister. I I did f okay. So with the story with the dad and all that, I uh, found out he was alive because my half sister randomly reached out, which who I didn't even know. You know, uh, apparently dad went and started a whole new life in Texas and stuff. My half sister reached out to me on Facebook. And the craziest thing, though, she has no pictures of my dad or whatever uh, at all. And I'm like, oh, man, like, I want to ask her. But at the same time, you know, I don't really care. I'll be honest. I don't care if I meet my dad or not. He's never in my life. I really don't care. Uh, I don't care if I meet the half-sister either. I know it sounds heartless, but uh, but if I were to meet someone, she'd probably be the one that I would want to meet. And then, you know, we go meet my dad or whatever or if he got dies or whatever you know who cares I mean sorry I know it sounds cold or whatever but I'm just saying you know everyone's getting up there in age and stuff so if I, if I don't meet him before he passes away I don't you know it's no skin off my back or whatever they say but uh yeah I don't know let's see what's the rest of your question is the reason I ask is everyone always asks if I want to meet my real parents oh because you're adopted Korean cowboy yeah yeah, no, I, I'm honestly, I'm like you, Korean cowboy. I could care less about meeting my dad. <laughs> yeah, he was never part of my life. Nope. Maybe one day, but... Mm. Yeah, I have no, uh, no desire. Otherwise, I would have, uh, like I said, my half-sister has reached out. And I just say, you know, whatever question she has for me or something, I'll answer it. But I don't really con continue the conversation because, you know, for me, there's no real interest either. Like, I, I'm more on your side, Korean cowboy. I, I don't... I could care less if I meet them or not. <laughs> but, the, okay, but the reason I would want to, though, is just... I'll be honest, uh, I look a little bit like my mom, but we do have, like, different noses. I want to see if I look more like my dad or maybe an old aunt. Does my sister look like me? She kind of does, but she's young and stuff right now, so her face could change and all that. Um... You know, because I've never had anyone that really, I guess, looks like me. You know how when you go to school and stuff, everybody has cousins or they look like their mom or dad, you know, big time and stuff, like a spitting image. I never had that. So I was like, well, you know, I'd like to see what. And that's why, honestly, I would just want some pictures. Pictures is all I care about. Um, seeing the dad in real life, fine. I don't even know what I'd say to him. Hola, como estas? As far as I knew, my dad was like fully uh, Spanish speaker. You know, I probably wouldn't even be able to uh, talk to him unless he's learned a little bit more English. <laughs> We'd have a broken conversation. Yeah, I think genetics. That, see if there's any like, uh, I don't know, maybe family diseases. Ooh. Uh, sad to say I heard my, my dad's side, his mother, so my grandma had passed away about a few months ago and stuff which my mom was like oh I remember her and you know and I was like oh yeah you know that's sad but you know I didn't really feel it as much as I felt it of course when my own grandma my grandma from my mom's side passed away because she you know helped to raise me and stuff so yeah <laughs> where in Texas San Antonio San Antonio I've been to San Antonio once. It was uh, when I was 12 years old. We went on a cross-country driving trip. Me, my mom, my grandma, and my dog, Mika. Who looked kind of like you, Lily. My little chihuahua was sitting down right there, by the way. But yeah. Kind of interesting, though. Yeah, I didn't grow up with a dad. Mm -mm. By the way, what's up, Anonimo? Thank you for the one bit. I appreciate that. Hey, one bit helps out. I'll throw you some bitties, love. But I don't have any animosity either towards my dad. Uh, uh no. Emo. There we go. Tried to, had to spell your name out. Um, I have no animosity towards my dad. I don't blame him for leaving. I'm sure there were reasons. I mean, I know my mom. Love you, mom. <laughs> I know my mom. She is difficult to live with. I mean, who's not, right? I'm pretty sure I'm difficult to live with. I've had to change myself uh, quite a bit. Because me and my mom growing up, like me in high school and mom just, you know, being a mom when I was living here, uh, we would butt heads a lot and stuff. She didn't want me, you know, like she was real adamant against, you know, hanging out with boys and having boyfriends and stuff like that or too much makeup and everything. And so we butt heads quite a bit. We used to have a lot of fights. But uh, moving back in after college and all that, um, 
I was kind of, I was a different person, you know, I was like, all right, I understand where mom's coming from, this is her roof, you know, there's going to be rules and stuff, I can't be, you know, breaking rules and all that. I mean, I can, but I, I knew the consequences, we're going to be fighting all the time. So, you know, I've, I've changed myself, I've, I guess, become a better person, I don't know, I, you know, I'm more, you know, more controlled, I guess, if I have something rude to say, I won't say it, you know, I'll just, okay, keep it in, you know, my mind or whatever. Uh, let me see, where was I going with that? Yo, what's up, Candy Candice? Welcome in. Good to see you. Oh, what'd she say when I started? Okay, so, funny thing about my mom is that, uh, she was cool with me dyeing my hair early in life. So, two game changers for me, going from, like, this morbidly obese, like, really unattractive person, uh, two things kind of helped me out with that before I actually started losing weight. One of them was learning how to straighten my hair. Like when I, once I started straightening my hair, I naturally have wavy hair. Once I started straightening it in middle school, I never stopped. It was a game changer. I looked, I thought I looked a lot better. And then uh, I was very lucky because thankfully X-Men had come out, you know, Rogue and stuff. She has the blonde streaks right there. I asked my mom if I could do that hairstyle and my mom was cool with it. Uh, she's like, alright, and she was the first person that dyed my bangs, so I had two blonde streaks like that. Of course, they didn't come out like awesome platinum white, they were stupid yellow. And uh, ever since then, my mom was cool with me dyeing my hair, but it was always just blonde streaks somewhere. And uh, sometimes I'd goof it up and ruin it. <laughs> but no, no, mom was cool with me dyeing my hair, and once I started doing I didn't start dyeing my hair different, like, crazy colors until... I'd say I got back from college. In well, I graduated college 2012, and I didn't start doing crazy colors, I think, until I started streaming, so about 2015, 2015 or so. Uh, but no, she liked them, she thought they were cool and stuff. She was like, Oh, yeah, um, let me see what else. Am I playing Fallout? I am playing Fallout 76. I went to Washington State University, Pullman, Washington. Oh no, MGV got fed up with this game, missions being glitched. Not working every patch just to fix other things. Yeah, no, I, I feel you, MG. Or MJ, sorry. Ooh, nice. That's cool, Candy Candace. Alright, let me see here. Yeah, I forgot where I was going with all that stuff. Well, thank you for hanging out, escapees. Yeah, if anybody has any other questions, feel free to uh, ask them or forever hold your peace. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, play 76? Yes, I do. I like it. It's cool. Yeah, I, I feel a lot of people don't like it, though. But I've been having a lot of fun. I enjoyed Meat Week. The only sadness for me is that Meat Week and Starfield had to come out the same time. So, uh, yeah, you know, that was a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, it is way better now. I got a character up around... I started a new character in 76. I think it was Memorial Day weekend? And within a couple months, I got her to almost level 400. Hey, what's up, Hark now? What do I hear? Vicious Panda? Thank you for the subscription. <laughs> the return of Sailor Soul. Yeah, we're going back to school, everybody. Thank you so much. Please, anybody close to your keyboards, throw some love, some hype, some emotes of any kind going out to Vicious Panda. But it is, I mean, I'll be honest to you, like I do get a little bit bored of Fallout 76. For example, I've just been doing, oh, I finally got my freezer. Woo! I got my freezer in Fallout 76. It is level 90 on the scoreboard. Oh, it took forever, you guys. I've been kind of slacking on 76 where um, I was just going in to do those scoreboard rewards, the daily challenges, the weekly challenges. And so I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks, literally just doing the challenges and then exiting playing this instead. And uh, yeah, I have. I finally got my freezer. Woo, yeah. Thank you, Panda, by the way. Let me throw you some uh, resub love in the channel for the vicious one. Woo! -hoo.
Okay, thank you so much. Oh, level 71. Yo, what's up, Kobe Room? Level 71 scoreboard, nice. Alright, Lily. You want to say hello? Alright, escapees, we'll get into it. Here's our Lily right there. Sorry, Lily. Mama gotta go restroom. I know, that's why I'm disturbing you. Alright, she says hello, escapees. You gotta go over here, baby girl. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna go to the restroom real quick. Thank you, Panda. Be right back. Thank you guys for kicking it with me. Um, plus, I also realized the soul cards are over there. Um, don't worry, you guys. I got shorts on, so just in case, you know, any skirts go up, there's no, uh, you know, <laughs> accidents there. All right, be right back. All right, it's probably against the school rules, but who's ready to get high? I know, everyone's like, no, we're, we're straight edge here, soul. <laughs> oh, and I forgot the cards here. Let me, don't worry, they're right here. Just gotta reach a little bit right there. Good. And it looks like my mom's dog, Lily, went and decided to lay down in her bed. So good. Oh, you were, <laughs> you were taking a hit, dude, me too. Well. I was thinking about it, that's for sure. I was gonna say, me too. No, I haven't taken a hit yet, but I am ready for it. But yeah, thank you for listening to my little story there, escapees. Once again, that story was supposed to connect to the previous stream story, where I just talked about my niece and how she came over and just, I don't know, kind of just like let it all loose, all her, you know, sad stuff. And I get it, but a lot of times, you know, it's like, you want to tell people what they should really do, but they, they know on the inside. A lot of people know already. You know, it's like telling, and I, I used to be morbidly obese, so I'm not making fun of anybody, but it's like telling a heavy person that they should lose weight. Like, that person knows. They're just not, they're either not ready to do anything about it, or they just don't want to, you know? So, you know, it's like tell, telling a person who's on drugs they got to get off drugs. Like, they know. They've heard it. They don't want it. So, I, I, you know, I try to take a, a different approach instead of just being blunt and being like, you need to stop doing this and that. 
Anyways, it'd be like the pot calling the kettle black, right? Because I'm doing the same thing, except for the lesser drug. <laughs> All right, one second, escape these. Once again, Washington State, so don't worry, guys. Nice. Don't let the principal see me token up back here. <laughs> Smoking in the boys' room. Alright. Yeah, people are token up in here. I'm out. I'm out. How dare they? Alright, my friends. Stream starting officially in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the soul stream. Thank you for hanging out, escapees. Happy Monday, everybody out there. Sorry I didn't stream on the weekend. I was just, oh man. I know, and I, I hate saying it because I don't like making excuses and stuff, but I just haven't been in the right mindset to like, it's been hard to like really motivate myself. In fact, today I think it's because I had some coffee. I think something must be going on with like my energy levels or something. Because unless I have some coffee or some type of energy drink in the morning, it's like, man, I'm real sluggish to do a lot of stuff. <laughs> Life be happening, right? Uh oh, what happened? How old am I? 33. 33, born 1990. I just learned my niece's um, birth year. Apparently she was born in 1993. So she's about 29 to 30. Actually, she just turned 30 then. Oh, this was her 30th birthday. That's right. Wow. Oh, now I feel bad that I uh, didn't go to her party, huh? Oops. I should have lied, huh, Candy Candice? I'm 25. No, I wish. Oh, you're out. Oh, okay, I thought you meant like I'm out, like I'm out of the stream watching you hooligans token weed and stuff. I know, I was 25 when I started streaming. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. I'll be honest though, I mean, you know, I hate to humble brag, but I feel like, and this is just me living in a country, rural area and stuff. Remember, high teenage pregnancy, all that nonsense. I feel like I'm doing, even though, you know, I'm not like, you know, I'm not making like billions of dollars or anything awesome like that. I don't have my own house and stuff. Um, I still feel like I'm doing pretty well considering all of my classmates and all that. Um, doing well in the looks department. Uh, seems like I'm doing, you know, pretty well in the happiness department. I mean, sure, I get sad, but, you know, it doesn't last. You know, I don't, I mean, I don't know. Never mind. Who cares, right? All right. Anyways, let's continue. Did I post all of the? Okay, so I haven't even finished posting all of my tweets. Let's go back today. Let's go back today. Let's go back to school today on the Soul Stream live now with more Starfield action. We'll finish up a few side quests, see what shenanigans we can get into. Yada yada yada. Click the link. All right, that's the tweet right there. I'll copy paste that over to Facebook. And same thing on Discord. I've been trying to be a little bit more active in Discord escapees, but I do realize there's not, you know, too, too much to talk about sometimes, sadly. Yo, what's up, sweet Taiga? Welcome to the stream. No, I've never been pregnant. Nope. Nope. No kids. Nope. Never been pregnant. I'm going to type that out because there is uh, ads going on right now. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. All right. Let's get into it. We are level 41. Last night, I was doing a little bit of bounties and stuff. So I'm still kind of with the Crimson Fleet, which you might continue that little quest line. Remember, we're playing double agent for the Crimson Fleet. So I'm not really friends with them, but I'm... Uh, you know, I'm supposed to like find some, uh, I don't know, evidence or something. We're working with the United Colonies System Defense. Oh, 
Damn, we got a huge raid right there. We got a mean old raid. Alright, waiting for the ads to end, it looks like. Yo, thank you for the raid. That's amazing, dude. I don't know if you guys can see this because there's supposed to be ads on, so I'm not sure. But yeah, thank you, Tyga. I appreciate it. Woo! Let me drop a fellowship hype going out to Tyga right there. Thank you, thank you. That is amazing. Okay, no ads. Good, good, good. That's crazy. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. How did your Starfield go? Welcome in. I'm just starting up myself. I was having a little uh, heart to heart. The last 45 minutes, apparently. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Holy crap. It's a raid. Woo. That's crazy, you guys. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> thank you so much. We got a couple followers as well. That's crazy. Let me give you a shout out. Proper shout out. to Sweet Taiga. Thank you, Sweet Taiga. Oh, sorry, I forgot the, the T on shout out. Shout out. There we go. All right, looks like the ads are over too for the previous viewer. So escapees, we just got a huge raid. Shout out to Sweet Taiga. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Let me throw you that fellowship hype right there. That's crazy. Yeah, doing the UC questline. Nice. Is that the uh, UC CIS stuff or just the United Colonies uh, in general? I haven't started up any of the faction side quests, but I have gotten uh, into trouble, let's just say, where I've had to like work with the UC CIS stuff. They have me infiltrating the Crimson Fleet right now, but this is my good playthrough, so I'm like, well, you know, I can do a few of those Crimson Fleet quests, but I don't want to, you know, do too many of them. Because I know I'm going to have to betray him eventually. Sad to say. Well, thank you again, Sweet Tiger. Nice to meet you. Amazing. I just started up right now. I just loaded into the game. I was uh, talking about family nonsense a little bit ago. Ah, just sad stories and stuff. Nobody wants to hear that. No, but honestly, though, thank you guys for listening to me uh, talk about my family and the things, the issues that have been going on and all the drama and whatnot. Oh, man. Some good stuff there, I'd say. All right, so today I'm gonna work on some side questing. Mm, let me see. We could start working with the Crimson Fleet. So honestly, I'm working on Burden of Proof here too, where we've been tasked by one of the lieutenants of the United Colonies Vigilance to find and bring back some evidence pertaining to Crimson Fleet activities, right? Illegal activities. So I've been doing like Rook Meets King and just kind of like, I don't know, I don't actually know what type of evidence I'm looking for. So I've been kind of just, you know, rolling around. What else do we have? What baby side quest do we have on the uh, agenda here? I think we can go back to Mars. Let's go back to Mars real quick. All right, you know what? I should probably scroll up and see. I'll admit I, there's a whole bunch of stuff in chat that I missed. Thank you again, sweet Tyga. Oh, it's Tyga and Jakey bring the guests. Ooh, who's Jakey? Co-streamer? That's amazing. Well, thank you again, you guys. That's amazing. That's crazy. It blew my mind. I, I was speechless. I don't even know what to do right now. <laughs> I'm like, oh crap, oh god, god. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, um, let's see here. Where's Juliana at? Juliana? Are you on Mars? Oh, I know that one chick is Rivka, or whatever her name was. Alright, this is New Homestead, which I haven't checked out too well just yet. Yeah, isn't that chick Rivka over on Mars? Let me see, let me see. Yeah, she is. Alright, let's go back to Sidonia. We're going. 
I have no idea what Rivka is going to ask me. I completely forgot whoosh, over my head. So we'll just go see. We'll refresh ourselves. Yeah, they do, Aaron. I completely agree there. Uh, last stream, I think we filled up with a bunch of neon quests. So I was kind of, and right now in the main storyline, I'm at like this checkpoint where I'm not able to recruit any of my uh, constellation companions. So I have no followers right now, even though I'm one of those people that love to have followers. Well, since we don't have followers and I'm not able to pick any up from constellation, at least I'm doing like bad stuff right now. Because when I have Sarah or Sam or one of the goody two shoes companions follow me. As soon as I do anything a little bit bad, try a little Aurora, you know, maybe accidentally elbow somebody. They're like, oh, you know, they hate it. They leave my company, all sorts of stuff. So right now that we don't have any companions, I'm kind of doing like shady, kind of not so good, kind of evil things. We're being chaotic good basically at the moment. <laughs> Hence the schoolgirl making bad decisions. Once my companions come back up, I swear I'll, I'll be a good person again. Maybe. Yeah, Sarah just liked that. Dude, I know I talk about it a lot, but... One time I was in the Astral Lounge over in Neon, and I, boom, elbowed somebody on accident because I have Fallout 76 fingers. In Fallout 76, you click the right stick in. Click the right stick in to crouch, right? Well, in this game, you click the B in to crouch like that. So I was trying to, you know, do a little little twerking and stuff at the club. Well, I accidentally, boom, I hit the right stick instead. Ended up elbowing one of the patrons. Everybody freaked out. Sam hated it. He left my company. He's like, oh, you disgust me or something like that. Or when you say something, something similar to that. And I was like, what? Chat was like, dude, you should leave Sam. He's being mad disrespectful. I'm like... He is being mad disrespectful, isn't he? <laughs> How dare you, Sam? I was like, weapon. it was an accident. He was ready to throw away the whole relationship just because I accidentally, boom, elbowed somebody in the club. Shameful. Shameful. Yeah, the club went into chaos. People were like rushing the door and stuff. I didn't even know there was a DJ up there at the time. I should have seen what the DJ was doing. That Borealis chick. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, right? Exactly. They do get butt hurt. <laughs> oh, man. What's something weird that has happened on your stream, Sweet Taiga, when you're playing Starfield? Any, like, weird, funny, like, crazy moments? I mean, I'm sure there are, but any that I you can just think of right now. Atlantis. We've never met this person, but she's still one of my best friends. Uh, Boris is good Another people. thing I remember is but here I in Sidonia. Line of thinking. We gotta find our own way. Oh wait, let me eavesdrop. That sounds like a little kid talking. I don't see any little kids around here though. Hey, look, it's the workout club. A friend of mine bought Nice. It's literally called Damn. The noise so yeah. I she was doing it. fist push-ups. Woohoo, don't mess with this lady. Oh, yeah. exactly. uh oh, oh, what's going on there? Oh, oh. Seriously. Oh what man, that guy, ooh, he has a strong There's neck. So many other things you can buy with those credits. He was lifting her with his neck and his head. All right, well, sad to say I missed some of those uh, conversations there. Uh, anyways, here in Sidonia, here on Mars, if you go down to the mining area, sometimes classical Bethesda glitch, uh, sometimes some of the miners show up to work naked. Well, of course they have their underwear on and stuff, but it's like, where's your outfit? That's not OSHA approved. All right, let's see here. I found an old I'm looking for Rivka, but I keep going, I guess, to the wrong area. <laughs> well, let's go downstairs. See, I could have sworn Rivka is that one chick that I found the Heart of Mars for, which was just this ball of titanium or whatever. Any naked miners today? Naked miners? Maybe not how huh? they stayed home. You know what? My bad, too. I didn't realize I was over-encumbered. Oops. Oops. All right, let's go find a store. 
I use personal atmosphere quite a bit when I'm over encumbered. Just makes it easier to run and walk around, even though we're supposed to be like secretive with our special powers and all that. Our starborn powers. People always ask me what they think about mine. Alright, looks like Rufka might be uh, right here. Nope, other side. <laughs> I was like, wow, well, uh, looks like she transitioned. Looks like she ain't a she no more. Alright, there she is. Oh! Oh my god, sleeping with your money? My goodness. Oh, thank you so much. We got a new follower. Welcome to the stream. New follower hype. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, that's like one of my favorites too. <laughs> they need a kid yelling, naked, naked. I'm gonna take her money. Shh. Oh. Well, who sleeps with money right next to them? Rivka? Oh no, she's not responding. Okay, there. Oh, well, hello. Sorry to bother you. Since you helped us out with the equipment and all. <coughs> whoa, whoa. I was wondering if I could talk. Coughs right in my eyeballs. <coughs> Damn, Rivka, you okay? That cough doesn't sound good at all. It's, it's probably <coughs> not, but I can't afford to go spittle. get it looked at. Dying, escapee, she's dying. Look at the amount of pain she's in. You can tell by her face. <laughs> well, that's too bad. No. Uh, hey, well, sh I know what's probably causing it. She's a minor down, well, downstairs and stuff. So, but we'll just ask. Any idea what's causing this? Could it be the suit? No idea. <coughs> Some sort of lung rot. Maybe from all the Martian dust that <coughs> kicks up in here. Or it could be something worse. Oh no. I could offer some money to help you. Or you should probably go see a doctor. I'm sure they can find you a way to help. I know. I wish it were that easy. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Oh, I feel bad. Well, no, I'm sorry. All right, well, uh, according to my doctorate's degree, you really need to see an actual doctor or your condi condition could get worse. You could die. Really? That bad? I... Well, it's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. See... I'd like to I like how her bra looks like it's painted on and stuff. But That's hilarious. My father, Nathan, is an executive with the Reliant. Oh. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Oh, that's not sad. to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. Uh oh. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems. Oh, that's why she hasn't been to a doctor? Oh my gosh. It won't end well Because her dad has connections to, to all the doctors. Wow. That's terrible. I'm extremely nosy, though. What happened with your father? Why is he trying to track you down? It's What'd you do? It's worse than you think. I didn't just <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious oh. and stole his ship when he oh. was out cold. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. Damn, Ruka! After Ruka. I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced oh, around. Oh, and she ditched <coughs> the ship. Wow. Settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. Ooh, but all that's that changes right if there. I pop up in the Reliant database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Damn, yes, well, I'll fly her somewhere no else to get her help, and then safety. we'll just fly back. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or worse. Oh, I mean, I've seen worse family fights, Rivka. Sure, you knocked your pops unconscious. Sure, you stole his ship, but uh, I mean, you know, you might get over. How many years has it been? Time might have healed some of those wounds. <laughs> oh man, 
What'd your dad do that made you, you know, take such drastic measures? After my mother died in an accident, oh. he changed. That's so sad. He became obsessed with my protection, but oh, he, he became never a helicopter to dad. What it was doing to me. It got worse and worse. First, it was no traveling in ships without one of his pilots. Then, no parties, no drinking, no leaving the house. I obeyed. Sounds like my childhood. But he didn't trust me. So he started monitoring everything I did. Okay, it didn't get that it bad, thankfully. So bad, even Nobody installed in any cameras. Two days after an argument. Can you believe Ooh. that? A prisoner in my own home. Damn, Every Rivka. Day there was yelling, lack of freedom, threats. I had to escape my prison. But even now, I am trapped. Oh, poor Rivka. So brutal. Oh, man. Well. I mean, but if you don't get help for your illness, wouldn't it be worse if you just croaked? That'd be awful. I guess, I mean, you know, I might be able to go talk to Pops and stuff. I'll wear the same outfit you're wearing. <laughs> it might change his mind. <coughs> Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Those maybe germs, I hope it's not contagious. Or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, Rivka, I'm I'll level be free. forty. Nothing if scares not, me. <laughs> well, at, at least there's nothing around these no planets. To find me. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I mean, hmm. What else can you tell me about good old dad here? He wasn't always the way he is. It wasn't until <coughs> after my mother died that he All changed. All right, I just got to find him a new oh, woman. Yeah. Dangerous. Find dad a girlfriend. He'll he go no back to normal. Himself. You could try mentioning her by name. Belinda. He misses her. Belinda greatly. wouldn't approve of this. Thinking about her. And then dad will melt down. like butter in her hands. It's worth a try. All right, all right. I'll do it, Rivka, because I like you, and you gave me that cool quest earlier, so tell me where to find him. It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this Back to here. Neon. He always stays at Hotel Volai. Ooh, he which I haven't been into yet. visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring I'm going to tell her dad that she died. Whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> say it's a peace offering. Dang, poor Rivka. I think she, what if she passes away before rare. we get back? I'm sure it will be his awful. interest enough to hear what you have to say. Man. I mean... <sighs> Alright. Well, I don't want to yell at her or nag her because that's just annoying. If I do this for you, can you promise me that whatever happened with him won't happen again? I'm pretty sure, you know, it was a one-time thing. I mean, her dad seems to be a pretty important guy. All right, I, I got it, Rivka. I'll see what I can do to try to get you out of this mess. No promises. I have a pretty decent speech skill, though, so we'll see how it goes. Good luck. All right. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. Oh, yeah, I didn't even... <laughs> I completely forgot about the whiskey as soon as she said it. it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Nah, I owe you, Rivka. You gave me that cool quest. Alright. So let's go talk to, not Juliana, but we're going to continue with the quest runaway here. Rivka says that I can help smooth things over with her father and the son by bringing a peace offering. A bottle of Red Harvest Whiskey. The local bartender Jack may know where I can get some. So we're gonna go get some uh, lovely Red Harvest Reserve Whiskey here. Now we gotta find Jack though. Poppy is what's up? Yo, what's up? Send the, the send the bad, send the bedroom, send the boom, or send the bedroom. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> where was my mind at? Send the boom! Welcome to the stream. Faith in the great. Happy Monday, you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for hanging out, escapees. We're just doing a little side questing today. Currently, we're in Sidonia, aka Mars. 
And yes, our own star system here. And we're helping out one of our friends, a mining friend. Her name is Rivka. She is the girl that gave me the Heart of Mars quest, which honestly was super easy. She just led me to a cave or pointed me the direction in a cave that had this chunk of titanium known as the Heart of Mars. And so, you know, it was cool. It's an expensive chunk of titanium. That's about the only special thing about it. But, you know, she helped me out, so I'm down to help her out too. Plus, she has a really cool Kiri type accent, and I like the French accent. Speaking of the French tasks. accent, Not I just starts, wore a French maid outfit cards. yesterday. If you it's on my Instagram if you would like to check it out. Alright, is this Jake? We go behind the bar and get yelled at. Okay. Yo, oh, Hello. Jack, excuse me. Hey, Jack. I can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. Uh, yeah. Can't say I am either. Uh, I hear you're the man to see about Red Harvest Reserve whiskey here. I am, but you don't look like the type that could afford it. What? Last person that came I have 3,300,000 no credits than on me. Hearst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on the splinter's office. This guy just called me poor. Something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. He paid up. Oh, don't tell me I have to go rob that guy. What? It's important, sir. Important enough that I need it to help save Rivka Odvadia's life. Now you got my attention. This ought to be good. We can always go steal the other guy's one if we mess this up, so we'll see. Uh... Please, I, I wouldn't be asking you for this if there was any other way. I do believe you. Worked. But you realize what kind of a bond this puts me in, right? Bro, I got the caps to pay for this or the credits. Oh, man. We can persuade within a persuasion? That's hilarious. If if I don't get this red whiskey, someone could die. It's compelling. Oh, it worked. But I'll need no more. Tell you what. I'll do this as a favor for Rivka. Yeah, she's coughing up a storm, man. She coughed up I'll blood in my you eyes. I'll only what I paid for the whiskey years ago. Blood in my well, eyes. And it's yours. All right, 600 credits. That's very generous, sir. I'll buy three. No. I sure hope you're not pulling my leg about this whole thing. Or else I just let all that money slip away. You better do justice for Rivka. Man, nothing's free around here. All right, we got it legally, thankfully. Excuse me. Now we have to go, go to, to Hotel Volai. But first, are there any stores around here? Let me look around real quick, escapees. I'm a little over encumbered, so uh, yeah, it was uh, last night I was playing this and I was doing bounties and just honestly looking for uh, doing the bounties where you look for um, like bandit leaders to take out and stuff. So I did a lot of that last night, so I have a whole bunch of, like, weapons on my person that I need to sell. Yeah, where's the store in this dump? All rude. Actually, I think it tells me right here. Let's see. We got Broken Spear, Trade Authority, level 1.1. Oh, Jane's Goods. Let's go to level 2.2. Want to find jeans goods. Let's support the local businesses here. Instead of just the, what is it? Trade authority. They're rich already. I know, I can't believe that bartender called me poor. He's like, you don't look like you have enough money. Like, what? Well, fuck you too, buddy. I was just hanging out with the miners. It's probably the extra suit around my face or something. Jeez. I'm gonna go wash my face, then I'll probably look a little bit you know, better, like I have some money or something. <laughs> well, let me see, what's my outfit? It's a nice outfit, look at that, it looks good. How dare he say the Mantis's outfit is Pavo. What the kids call poverty now these days. Uh oh. Spam caller. Ignore him. They can leave a message if it's you oh. know, really important. How are you? Yeah, Jack's giving me the middle finger. You're right, he did. By the way, what's up, Kooning and Marisu? Good to see you. Welcome in. No wonder people here. Thank you for the lure, Kooning. I appreciate it. 
You're just coming in. I'm looking for the store. Is this Jane? Ah, Jane's goods. One of the mines. So much oh, there it is. Those ridiculous I was about to prices. say, you don't have any uh, advertisement there, Jane. My shop may Hello. not look special, but it's locally owned and independent. Hi, welcome to Jane's. Sidonia's only 100% independent one-stop shop. Yes, yeah, my first I time I apologize here. if I'm a little distracted. I'm currently dealing with a little issue, but little please issue? let me know if there's anything I can get for you. That means more work for us later. Yay. Uh, side note, I know you might have seen me point. Uh, she's got the red eyes. Supposedly, miners here in Mars, if they work down in the mines longer and longer, the longer they do work down in the mines, uh, the more of a chance their eyeballs are going to turn red. So you might notice a few of these miners in Sidonia with red eyeballs. I'm so behind on my work. I noticed that right away on one of those guys. Anyway. Before we knew it was a thing, I was like, he has, it looks like he has red know. eyes, that's cool. Then it turns out it was an actual, I guess, affliction. So kind of interesting. Hmm. Well, first things first, Jane, I'd like to take a look at what you got for sale. I'm here for okay. business. Let me just pull up my stock. And... Business. There it is. Take a look. All right, hopefully. Oh, she only has 2,000 credits. My goodness. Well, she might have some. Uh, you got any ammo here, ma'am? Oh, she has no ammunition. Well, she has aid, though. Let me see. Oh, there we go. We just got a baguette. Mmm, bread. Bread, butter. I'll take her emergency kit. And anything, any like injectors. You got any injectors on you, ma'am? No, no injectors. No. I'll take the trauma pack. Let me just check one more time. What is this? Penicillin. I'll take her medicine type stuff. I know, sadly, my character's been getting a lot of lung disease when I uh, scan planets and stuff because I have to get a little bit close to those gas emitter things that you have to scan the mineral emitters or whatever and uh, so sometimes I get lung disease so I need some of those injectors I'll take the heal paste too and burns yeah get a lot of burns on planets as well all right let's sell a couple of these scared of the grendel that that equinox Ooh, the lawgiver I haven't seen one of those in a while all right, and I think that's about it. She kind of ran out of money. Makes sense. All right. Oh, we'll have to be good with this. So you said that you have some issues and stuff running an and independent you shop. Just sort of stopped talking. I'm talking right now, Jane. Anyways, might be hard work here. Maybe I can help with your issue if you weren't so rude. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock me back down. But unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not sure you can help. Well, I mean, you See, know. I saved up to get a Been new ship to do some pilot. mercenary work. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods, but he went missing. Uh-oh. I can't missing find anyone guy. willing to track him down. I'm worried something bad has happened. He's dead. Pretty sure he's dead, Gene. If that was your boyfriend, he's dead. Can't you call, like, sis stuff? Aren't there people that can help with this? Is this illegal? Is that why you can't call them? If all else fails, I'm probably going to, but I'd rather not. That ship? I bought it from a sketchy dealer because oh, it was I all I could it. afford. Sketchy Seemed too good dealer. to be true. I'm not sure now it was entirely legit. So, you see the problem with contacting sis Def. Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for. Good luck with that. Uh, what do you think happened to him? I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's something simple, like he ran out of fuel. It's never something It's an simple. older ship and it may have had a minor leak. But I know there's a problem with pirates out there. This was Eric's first real piloting job and I'm worried they could tell he was easy pickings or something. Could just be my overactive imagination. First piloting job, stolen ship. It's a uh, mixture for a uh, bad time, that's for sure. A recipe for a bad time. All right, all right, I suppose after I help Rivka, I can go track down your ship and your pilot. Really? I mean, thank you. I know it's a lot of trouble, but it'll mean a lot to me. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll try to compensate you as best Can't I can Can't say no to a redhead. And my ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last oh, signal the I got Mule. from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. 
and try to bring them both back in one piece. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I'm gonna try. All right, well. Okay, just making sure we're still on Runaway, but we picked up a another quest here from a fiery redhead known as Jane. She owns the store too, so you never know, we might get some discounts or something. But first and foremost, let's continue with the Rivka mission. So we talked to this girl here, she's one of the miners, she has a really bad cough, and long story short, the reason she hasn't seen the doctor in a while is because her dad is somewhat tied to Reliant Medical. She's on the You'll run for him, and she doesn't want her dad to know where she's at. So he's in the system, basically. So if she gets in the system, her cover's blown. All right, is this the elevator? Uh, yeah, main level, please. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do to get Rivka out of her, you know, dire situation. We're gonna go talk to good old dad. Then afterwards, we'll go find Jane's lost ship and her, you know, friend that's out there floating. Floating around, middle of nowhere. Alright, out of the way, everyone! Out of the way! Used dealership, right? Exactly, that's what you get for buying a used spaceship! You knew it was gonna come with problems. Should've got the warranty on it, the extended warranty. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that, sweet tiger. I've seen that on so many people, actually. Have they all been miners? Oh, the red eyes? I would assume yes, or maybe they're all from Mars, or they've been in Mars at one time. But uh, yeah, if you talk to the miners down in this area in Sidonia, um, that's what they'll tell you. They'll say you work down in the mines long enough, you get the red eyes. I thought for a second you were making like a, a weeb joke, like, oh, I've seen a... <laughs> Wait, maybe you were! Were you making a weed joke? Like, I've seen plenty of people with red eyes. <laughs> They're Sith Lords. That's hilarious, Anonimo. I've never heard that yet. Anonimo293 said, Once I was idle too long, I'm assuming while you were talking to a character and stuff, so the woman said, Stop staring at me, I have a husband. That's hilarious. All right, let's go. I believe we're headed back to Neon and the Hawaii star system. Oh! Oh, thank you so much! Hey, Hark now, do I hear? Thank you, Send the Boom, that's amazing! Send the Boom, subscribing to the channel, ascending in the stream. Thank you so much. We're getting closer to that goal. 35 out of 40 subscribers. Thank you so much. Send the boom. That's crazy. New sub hype in the channel. Yeah, anybody close to your keyboards, you please. Drop some love, some hype, some emotes of any kind in the stream, please. Who would play? The adoring fan in a live action movie. It'd have to be like one of the actors that's uh, known for a lot of comedy. I like how in unison these two were. That was some good unison. Alright, real quick, I do see a traitor atlas. Hail there, a traitor! Great authority at your service. I got some Looking weapons. For something? I've got some cargo that could use a good home. Yeah, me too. All right, let's see. Oh, only 700 credits up there. Damn it. All right, well, you know, it's good enough. One gun can get sold for that. Oh, I have a stolen weapon? I didn't even know. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, we'll just sell these. That one, she's got 300. Sell her this shotgun, good enough. Yeah, I lost a little bit of money on that last purchase, but that's okay. All right, thank you, I appreciate that. All right, now to Solar System Volai. So we're currently in Seoul. Which is our solar system where Earth and Venus, Mars, Jupiter, all that are in. We're going into Volai though, where Neon's at. Right here. 
here somewhere. Well, we don't have to go to the core. Let's go to just the landing area. We'll go from there. What's up, thoughts? Welcome in. Yeah, Tom Hiddleston. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, no, that's a good one, actually. <laughs> As the adoring fan. Just dye his hair like highlighter yellow. Get him to adopt that uh, that accent and stuff. Or uh, Aaron Silverhand with Macaulay Culkin. Yep. Kin from Home Alone. Mm hmm. I know, if only he was still at that age, though. Or, well, of course, not a child, but like a little bit older. I think he's. I think Macaulay Culkin's like. He's a little bit older than me, isn't he? I'm 33. He's gotta be at least like 36 or something. Yeah, we're gonna get high in neon, the party city, exactly. I did do a bunch of side quests here last stream, I believe. So we were working with like Move pushing in. drugs, won't hurt you. making Aurora, Move making in. drugs. All right, going through. Uh, we were working with gangs here in Neon. What else? Basically helping out a lot of shop owners. They've had, I guess, troubles with, uh, not with just the local populace, but within themselves. Shop owners fighting shop owners. Not really fighting, but arguing and stuff. So we had to settle a couple of uh, domestic disputes here in Neon. All right, so I'm looking for Rivka's dad. And she said her dad might be on a conference here in Hotel Valai. And so I've passed through here so many times, so I know this is the Lai Hotel. We have plenty of space available. I'm gonna quick save just in case I goof this up. All right, hello, Minerva. Welcome to Hotel Volai. Are you here to rent a room? Oh, I, I should have put on my best outfit. That Damn our it. luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. Oh no, I might have to drop some uh, cash on this. Well, I mean. Uh, yeah, that's a pleasant surprise. What sort of luxury do you have? We have finely appointed spacious suites, all featuring fantastic amenities. Best of all, each room is security protected with an encrypted password locked door. So, you can rest easy at night. Yeah, nobody's gonna be coming on in, huh? Sneaking around, prowling the premises. Never know. Well, I mean, uh, it is neon here. What's the catch? Nope, no catch. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence. They always so you can say rest that. assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. All right, well, hmm. That must have taken a miracle to arrange. No miracle, just some good old fashioned ingenuity. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Well, hmm, let's see here. I'm just looking for this lady's dad. Want, want to let me in on your little secret about how you beat the system? I don't really want to make her mad just yet. Uh, well, I'll be honest. Let me cut to the chase here. I actually have a delivery. Some red harvest wine for, or whiskey, excuse me, for Natan Ovadia. It's uh, from his daughter. Oh, how nice. His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Obadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. Yeah, the more expensive the gift, the better, huh? All right. Let me check out this wine real quick, or this whiskey. Red Harvest Whiskey. It's probably in the, uh, maybe miscellaneous, huh? Yeah, there it is. Red Harvest Reserve, original. Age 50 years, wow. It's only what? It's only worth 820 credits. I paid 600 credits for it. And the guy acted like he was doing me some big ass favor. I thought it was like a 10,000 credit bottle or something. Jeez. Doesn't even break a thousand credits. The dude's like, I'm missing out, I'm losing out on all those credits because of this. Acting like he's losing out on thousands or something. Jeez. 200 credits. All right, all right. Welcome I'll deliver this over here. here. I married Sarah, instant regret. Oh man, I married, well, I haven't married Sam, 
but we have this uh, the boyfriend girlfriend thing going on. Still trying to, you know, get what's his name to our side too. Oh, okay, I thought she was going to escort me there, but I guess I get to go on my own. Cool. One room. That's nice. He must have ordered out the penthouse, huh? Alright, quick save it because we don't know if Dad's going to flip out or not. Knock, knock, sir. Room service. Room service. Well, let's make this quick. Wow, this is her dad? Dude, he doesn't look old enough. He's actually kind of hot. Uh, Natan? Natan Ovadia? Red Harvest Reserve, huh? I assume this is from my daughter. Well... She knows how to get my attention. So Rivka what knocked then? this guy You're unconscious. That's with her? hilarious. She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? Well, I mean, you know, I, I, look, look, look. I'm just here to talk to you about Rivka. The whiskey, honestly, was just to get me through the door. Of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you doing. Remember, two you sides to, to each story. this instant. Let's see what Dad has to say about her. Assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then runs off to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? How foolish do you think I am? Well, I mean, you know, uh, please, please, accept the red whiskey. Rivka said it would mean a lot to you. Hmm. That worked. My daughter knows me well. Maybe... She is serious about this. Yeah, calm down, calm down. I mean, this isn't what your late wife, Belinda, would have wanted, is it? Belinda? Oh, it worked, yeah. Oh, I miss her. No. You're right. She would be disgusted with who I've become. Utterly disgusted. I've, I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. Well, I mean... I know I caught you off guard. I'm sorry, sir. We can take our time if need be. You oh, I goofed did, it. And I do not appreciate this Damn intrusion. It. All right, all right. Sorry, oh. but I stand firm in my decision. Now, if you'll excuse <gasps> me, I'll be calling security to deal with you. Security? Unless, if you tell me where she is hiding, I will agree to let oh, you go scot free. The law called no on security. Us. All charges against know, you will be right? dropped. I know, right? The whiskey didn't work. No, it was supposed to be foolproof. All right. Well, then you, you me. leave me no choice. I'll kill you before you can beg for forgiveness. All right, we'll see about that then. All right, just making sure. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll reload it. Don't worry. Man, I was trying to be as persuasive as I could, sir. Now I have to go back and tell my friend that I killed her dad. How is that going to go over for me? Not very well. Well, I have to pay respects to that guy. Oh, man. Well, I tried my best to escape these. Don't worry. We'll, we'll do that again. No, sad to say I'm not that evil on this playthrough. On my evil playthrough, sure. But on this one, I'm supposed to be, you know, at least a little bit, a tiny beacon of light in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, dad was dead when I got there. I have no idea what happened. In fact, I think uh, decay was starting to set in. He was dead days before I got there. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I messed it up, the scapees. I pushed too hard, I pressed him a little bit too hard. All right, well, that's going. I'm going to take a quick break again. I'm going to run to the restroom. You know what? Is there any way I can skip the next ad Let's break? This quick. If I just do it right now. Nope, no way. All right, I'll be right back, escapees. I've been drinking a lot of coffee. My apologies. I know I chugged this before the stream, so now I'm like, ah, I got to run. Okay, I'll see you soon, though. Go ahead and take some soul gems. If y'all want to heist, feel free to heist. If you want to see how many soul gems you have, exclamation gems in chat.
All right, sorry about that. Well, guess what, you guys? It's raining. I know, it was only supposed to be 15% chance of rain today. But lo and behold, the 15 became 100%. That's kind of crazy. If we start having any uh, weird internet issues, I blame that. That and it's a little windy outside too. Anybody else's hometown starting to, or you know, wherever you're living at, is it starting to look like fall already? We have a bunch of leaves that are falling and stuff. All right, there we go. Doing a little bit of herb. Washington State, so recreational. Cannabis is fine over here. Alright, yo, what's up, Dr. Atomic? Welcome in. Miss the weekend sun. No, I feel you. I'm a rain person myself, but just because I do live in Washington, but not in the rainy part. I live in the desert part of Washington. So I'm about two and a half hours away from Seattle. So we hardly get rain. It's weird, huh? Cheers, everybody. Don't worry, I'll be off camera over here. Alright, let's get back to it. So I'm working on trying to convince Rivka's dad here, which I didn't convince him properly last time. My bad. There goes the last of the coffee, by the way. <laughs> Good times. Thank you again for hanging out. Thank you to Sweet Taiga for the raid. That was amazing too. If you're still here from Sweet Tiger's Raid, thank you so much for sticking around. And shout out to them too, they're amazing. That was crazy, dude. That raid right away like blew my mind. I was like, what am I doing? All right, <clears throat> okay, but side note with this guy. In my opinion, Rivka sounds more like French. She has like a, a cute little like curry French accent. And this guy to me has kind of like more of a, like he's trying to do a French accent but it's coming out a little bit like Russian or I'm not too sure. Anyways, all right, here we go. Try number two with Natan Ovadia. Hello, Natan. Huh? Hello again. I assume this is from my daughter. Nice well, organ, dude, I love organ. Attention. So what then? You're working with her? She thinks this will be enough to smooth things over between us? Brought him a fancy bottle of whiskey. He's not having it. Here we go. Persuasion number two. Please, sir, I'm just here to talk about your daughter. The whiskey, you know, that's just a plus. Of course it was. Ah, I should have not been so blind. You have no idea what you're doing. The reason you need to he's tell so me where angry she is at this her. instant. The reason my he's so angry is that. Assaults me in my own home, steals my personal spacecraft, then well, runs off go. to who knows where. Now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better? Foolish, do you think I am? Very foolish, sir. Now take your whiskey. Hmm. My daughter knows me well. He's like, well, Maybe I can't say no to a good she whiskey. She's serious about this. All right. Well, I mean, your your wife Belinda was it? She wouldn't have wanted this, would she? Belinda. All right, that worked. Now I won't oh, press I too hard this time. No. I went all in last time. That was a You're mistake. Right. She would be disgusted be with gentle. who I've become. I've... I've been dishonoring her memory with my actions. Well, sir, I mean... I think we might be able to come to an agreement if you're willing to listen. I no, don't worked. disagree good, with good. you. Alright, last we'll go with the plus one. Your daughter, I'm, I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you. Rivka's sick. She refuses to seek treatment because she's afraid of you finding her. You who are a part of Reliant Medical. She could die. She would yes, there we go. Risk due to me. Yes, all she your puts fault. She me in a difficult position. She needs to face consequences. Yet, I do not wish her to die. A I good father. suppose I've overreacted. Oh, only 10 experience She was that. young and while foolish, she is still my daughter. Good. And Much better alternative than shoot wife. him. <laughs> I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that. True, true. Well, well, I don't want to push it too much. How will you make up for how you treated her these last years? I'll just be like, hey, even Stevens, everyone. 
I take it that this means you'll forgive your daughter then? Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately. Bless your heart, sir. Bless your hunters. heart. And oh, blessings, I blessings. I will yes. Thank seek you. Seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. Oh, you're making the right choice, Nathan. You're making the right choice. Now your daughter gets, you know, at least a good 10 more years of life while she's working in the mines. You know, everybody in the mines passes away early, sadly. All right, but they get some good money out of it, though. Yay, success on that one. That's good. That's better than the alternative, which was, you know, shooting him on the ground. <laughs> oh, man. But yes, I'm the boom dude. I love Oregon. Um, occasionally, I'll go to Portland. There's a band there called Dead Animal Assembly Plant. Um, they're also streamers here on Twitch. I met them through a Twitch friend of mine. And uh, yeah, some amazing concerts over in Portland, Oregon. All right. So next thing's next. We just talked to Rivka's dad. We smoothed things over. Long story short, I was trying to get her dad to, you know, stop pressing charges on her so that she herself can go to the doctor and not fear that her dad's going to figure out where she is. So let's go back to Mars, a.k.a. Sidonia. Whoops. Sorry, I pressed the B button. That one, that one, and over here. We're going to go back to the soul system. Back to Mars. And down to Sidonia. So just to get back into the streaming mood and stuff, I'm doing a little bit of side questing today. Um, but I hope to, I hope by tomorrow we'll be ready to continue the main quest line. In the main quest line we're at this kind of, I don't know, I want to say like a, a weird breaking point in the story. We're like at a good cutoff in the story where uh, the eye, which is where our friend Vladimir hung out of Constellation, the eye's under attack. We have to either fly back or stay with the artifacts or something like that. I can't remember exactly what's going on, but it's like a pretty, I, I'd like to say it's like a cliffhanger where we stopped off at. Oh, did somebody lose their gems? Probably me too, huh? Oh no, oh yeah, we're gonna send the boom. Destroyed by the noob guard. Keep a lookout. Notify a little bit south of uh, Portland. Beaverton? No. I have an uncle that lives in Beaverton. Hope nothing bad happens to you. You don't have to answer that, I was just joking. I do have an uncle there, but you know, you don't have to share your location or anything like that if it makes you uncomfortable all right let's go see Rivka so Rivka's one of the miners oh yep she's doing it again Rivka what did I tell you see woman you're complaining about your cough and I keep telling you you need to put clothes on when you're mining Rivka you go to sleep like that you wake up like that you gotta put your outfit on Rivka that's why you have extreme lung disease because you refuse to wear your dang helmet when you're at work Rivka look at me I have layers and layers of protection I have a helmet I have a giant backpack that has oxygen in it look at you Rivka in the words of I think it's Eminem what's the difference between me and you all right let's see here anyways yeah, funny little side Bethesda glitch. I'm pretty sure Rivka's not supposed to be at work in her underwear. <laughs> not OSHA approved, by the way. Anyways, Rivka, uh, I'm gonna pretend you have clothes on to make this conversation less awkward. I received Again an with the coughing in the eyeballs. Father. He's dropped the charges. Good. It will still be difficult. There's a lot we need to speak about, but I think we may be able to mend our relationship, thanks to you. Good thing she doesn't know we actually had to shoot her dad first. Whoops! I know, imagine having to come back like, Oh, I found your dad dead! Wink. Or, Oh, I shot your dad myself! 
I'm pretty sure she'd be like, no, there could have been a way to help him. Oh, how could you? I, I'm sure, certain she'd probably be upset about that. All right, well, I mean, uh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad it worked out. I mean, he liked the whiskey and stuff. Of course. <laughs> we will be taking things slow. There is a lot of trust to rebuild. But he acknowledged See, and clearly a French for his accent. Behavior. And her dad that had like a, a Russianish accent. And I'm willing to let him back into my life. True, Beat mom could have been French. As True. As long as he proves his words and commits to change. Without your intervention, this would not have been possible. <laughs> <coughs> and I can finally treat this. I Thank know. You. Man, if there's I anyone that needs to wear a mask, it'd be Rivka here. Rivka, put your mask on. You're like the only person that actually needs it. She's like, <laughs> yeah, thank you for uh, helping me out. <laughs> like, damn, Rivka, Jesus Christ, close your mouth. <laughs> Cover your mouth, man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, her own darn fault she's getting sick at work. Imagine not putting any clothes on. There, actually, there's one more miner, it's a dude, that does the same thing, too. I'm surprised. He, yep, there he is. Yeah, see, I'm surprised this guy's not coughing up the storm. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Andres. We actually worked with him on a Sidonia mission, but I forgot what it was. Oh, I think it was, yeah. We worked on the mission where we were trying to get these guys better equipment and stuff. Then it turned out that the guy that we were helping, uh, not the main dude, but one of the side helpers was like backstabbing everyone. He was going to sell the new equipment. We had to persuade him not to do it. And then lie for him too and say, oh, no, 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 he, he wasn't going to rob us blind. He's a good person. Yeah, she needs to cover her mouth. Exactly, dude. Like coughing up all sorts of germs and blood in our eyeballs and stuff. If she's contagious, half of this place is sick already. Uh, next thing's next, my friends. Let's go ahead and... We went over to the local general store here in Sidonia. It's run by a lady named Jane. Now, Jane told me a little bit of a problem that she has. Apparently, her ship, the Berry Mule, and its pilot, Eric, have gone missing. Oh no! She's asked me to search for their last known location around Triton. Let's go to Triton! Last stream we worked on a lot of quests that were out of Neon. I'm guessing this stream we're gonna do a lot of Sidonia quests. Well, I mean, I only have these two, so we'll see if we can find something else in a little bit. Uh, so apparently Triton isn't too far. It's, oh, it's a moon of Neptune, that makes sense. Neptune, Triton, God of the Sea and all that nonsense. Cool. All right, all right. Let's set a course over there and travel. Go. Berry Mule sounds like Portland Bar does. All right, well, I'm here at Triton. I guess I'll scan it. Looks nice. Oops. All right, well, there's the ship. Let's travel right to it then. Oh no! Damn it, I've been picking up more asteroids apparently. At first I only had three asteroids following me around. Now I have like five or six. Great. Oh my god, I'm literally oh, I thought in your- Oh, I You scared the crap out of me, adoring now. fan. <laughs> it's so cool. All right, yes, thank you, adoring fan. No, when his voice popped up, I thought he was the one piloting the berry mule. I was like, how'd you get over there? Okay, no, 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 he was just talking. Okay. We must hail them. They're only level six, so not too bad. Well, you know what? Just in case, let me save it. All right, here we go. Hail there, Stay berry mule. Stay away. Uh, Eric? I mean... I'm looking to speak with Eric. He's indisposed. You're speaking with Captain Gustavo Valencia. And this ship is under eclipse. Oh control. no. 
Ecliptic control! Oh no! What? The ecliptic? That is not your ship, sir. Let me see here. Yeah, we want to keep it peaceful. I don't want to blow up the ship. That'd be terrible. Um, I mean, the owner of that ship would like a return. Yada, yada. See, maybe I should just be like, no trouble. I want to come aboard and talk. Yeah, no, no trouble here. No trouble. If we allow you to talk, be aware that we're well armed and will not hesitate to take action against you if you become a threat. Yeah, 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 You're definitely. With that in mind. All right, we got the okay to board. Let's get a little closer over here. I don't know what do you guys think. It's shady, huh? Has been collecting a ton of new All right, let's go ahead and dock. Ancient. My first time I had to try docking on a, a starship or something, I went and poof, crashed right into it, dude. It was hard. Learning this game was a little bit difficult for me. All right, let's go ahead and board. We're gonna speak with the mercenary leader. Yeah, speak. Hey now. Oh That's God! Close enough. Jesus! Better think twice before. Oh, I saw the trouble. door in the day. What exactly do you want here? Hi. Uh, we're cool. We're cool. I don't want any trouble either. But um, I'll be a hundred percent honest. I, I need to talk to you about this ship. Yeah. Look what at do this you have to say about here. it? We're That's getting hilarious. paid to deliver it back to the trifle owner, and I don't think that's you. That's hilarious. I swear, it's it's like I said, Eric ship. I I I I I I was there when she bought it. Hey, this guy sounds like he's supposed to be talk. here. No, I shut up and let where, the adults where are we talk. Before this interruption. All right, I have to say something about this guy's accent. Now, I'm Hispanic myself. I'm Latina. I am Mexican-American, whatever you want to say that. It sounds low-key, uh, but I have no problem with it or anything. I just think it's funny. It sounds low And a lot of the accents in this game sound like this, but uh, this is the only one I can really speak on because I'm Hispanic myself, but it sounds like some dude is trying his hardest just to like make a, a fake Hispanic accent and stuff. <laughs> It just doesn't sound right. It's hilarious. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see, let's see. It's possible this ship was on Eric's telling the truth. I think there's been a mistake. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what Spend happened was... Let's go. See, you sounds funny. Um, what happened was Jane told me she bought the ship, but it might have been stolen. So I'm thinking these guys are trying to, you know, steal it back too. So, you know, there's there's been a mistake. Eric is telling the truth. It's owned by somebody else. We don't make mistakes. Our employer is very reputable. This ship Our employer is very reputable. We, we know we've got the right one. We Look, know we've got the right one. Of this. Maybe someone else stole it, offloaded it, and your friend bought it. It sounds like Sorry, a Caucasian dude doing a Hispanic accent. We're doing our job here. So, Once again, no problem with it. I just think it's funny. Unless you've got something else to propose, <laughs> we'll be taking this ship in. Our employer will handle the pilot. Our employer will handle the pilot. All right, all right. Um, let me see here. Oh gosh. Well, that does sound like a conundrum. Well, tell your client, can't you just tell them that the ship was destroyed and Jane gets to keep her ship, you get to save face? Somebody gets screwed in the end, but you know. <laughs> I'm not convinced this is a good idea. All right, all right. It does sound like the voice of the guard from Oblivion. Stop right there, criminal scum. Oh, man. All right, well, I mean... <sighs> mm hmm. Come on, man. My client, my friend Jane here, she's a small business owner. She needs this. She wants to get into, you know, her her big girl, girl boss shoes. And so I'm helping her out. Well, oh, it this is just Good. another ship to my client. They can afford to take the loss on this one. All right. Well, I mean, you know, oh, man, no one has to know. Let's stay gentle. I don't want to press too hard. I mean, I think this would work out for the best, you know, the best for both of us. I guess they never have to know. Yeah, yeah, 
now you're you're talking. I mean, uh, yeah, no one has to know. I can't guarantee anyone in this room won't talk. So oh, I, I fussed it up. That. I ain't putting our reputation on the line for some small time low life. Oh man. Well, oh gosh, who's your client anyways then? They wish to remain anonymous. There's a reason they called us instead of cis death. Probably more ecliptic scum. Man, well... Can you at least let Eric go? I can agree to that. We're only getting paid for the ship, not the pilot. You can untie him and get on fine, out of here. Fine, fine. You know what? Count I'll take it. Count yourself lucky we're I'll so take it. reasonable. I'll take it, because you know what? Small business or not, the lady bought a stolen ship. Crap happens. At least her friend Eric gets to live, right? So everybody was kind of wrong, all right? <laughs> That's how I'm justifying it, because I messed up the speech check. All right, come on. Let's go, Eric. Thanks. I... I thought that was going to be it for me. Dude, I thought it was gonna be going to be it for me, too. Jane's heartbroken about the ship, but... But... At least I'm alive. Yeah! She's going to be like, God damn it, you should have sacrificed him and got the ship back. Yeah, it is too bad about the ship, but we got what's important, though. How'd these guys even find you? They said they'd been looking for this ship for months, ever since it was reported stolen. See, you buy a stolen ship. I don't know who ship, it belonged to, but they crap clearly happens. wanted it back bad enough to call Mercs, not Sistef. Must have had some way of tracking it. Followed me from Mars until we were nowhere near Sistef, I guess? Or just my own bad luck. Yeah, well, come on, let's get out of here. We got what's important, you. Uh, I guess so. Still, I feel bad for Jane. It took her forever to save up to buy that thing. Well, start I paying her I'll some money then. Just uh, start donating to her, Eric. Yeah. Don't make me regret the deal we made. Yeah, 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 Gustavo. All right, now how do I get out of here? I could take him out, but at the same time, you know, Merc's just doing a Merc's job, so you know I can't blame him. Can't blame him. I know he's calling us a low life. Oh, hurts my heart. Hurts my heart. I know, me too. I'm not the best at accents either, boom. <laughs> I feel you. I know I was capping on that guy's accent, but uh, it's funny. All right, let's see. Undock here. Dang, so I'm losing the ship. I could have reloaded it, but at the same time, you know, she did buy a stolen ship. You know, I do feel bad about that, but well, not our problem, huh? <laughs> She's gonna be so pissed. Yeah, you didn't get my ship back. Well, at least you got Eric. I know, that's gonna be a huge blow to her small business. Oh well. Not every quest can be completed squeaky clean. I mean, they can if you reload them and, you know, do it the right way and stuff, but sometimes, you know, stuff happens. All right, we'll see though. I'm curious to know what she is going to say because she might be mad. But we got her friend back, so you know what? Honestly, if we're really looking within our heart of hearts, that's the most important. Is that that young man survived. He lives another day to drive another ship into the path of some more mercenaries. Oh, Sidonia is the one that says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay away from the six 171 hours without incident. Wow. Me if I've tested it out where I shot someone to see if it'd go to zero, and it doesn't, at least not for me. Yeah, I've gone through entire massacres on Sidonia, trying to see if that sign would change, and it didn't. Once again, you guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Happy Monday out there, scapees. Huge shout out to Sweet Taiga. Let me throw Sweet Taiga a fellowship hype again. Thank you to Sweet Taiga for the host. That's why we have so many viewers today. I appreciate it a lot. They were also playing some Starfield. 20 years ago, I moved to Sidonia on a whim. All right. Beep, 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 out of the way. Glad Jane, you're back. Jane! Everything okay? Uh, who wants to tell her? <laughs> I got some bad news, Jane! 
So, uh, what's the news? Um, terrible news, to be honest. I actually couldn't get the ship back. They were gonna shoot me and stuff, but, uh, I saved Eric. So what happened? Who took it? The ecliptic. They took it back to its rightful owner, they said. But, but I, I rescued Eric, though. Wait, rightful owner? You mean, I bought a stolen ship? Yeah, I well, bought a stolen sucks. ship. What do I do now? I'd give her a well, little money. I won't lie. I'm really bummed about the burial. I know, rest in peace, burial. On the bright side, at least Eric is alive and back safely. Well, I mean, you know, I am glad I was able to bring him back. They were going to turn him in and, you know, probably slaughter him. Who knows? Yeah, me too. It'll take a while, but I can always get another ship. But oh, see, she's not that ship, bummed out about really it. I have a use for a pilot. I just hope you'll be able to find work after this. Anyway, thank you for trying. I won't be able to pay much now, but here, it's something. Thousand credits. Oh my god, Eric, you're safe. I was so there worried. He is. Eric got fired too, by yeah. the way. Um, well, I'm here now. Hey, I'm gonna need some time to process this before I can talk about it. How's it going? Of course, yeah, poor Eric, have a seat. Man. Take all the time you need. We'll chat when you're ready. You know, I'm a pretty good pilot. I just uh, need more experience before I can join up with the trade authority or her company. Yeah, he should have flown that berry mule and, you know, shot down the ecliptic that were if following him. Quiet spot to think, Imagine getting caught by the ecliptic. All right, next thing's next. What else do we have here? Minor support group, movie night. Book club, Sanctum Universe services. Let's see if there are any more. Beep, 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 out of the way. Let's see if there's any more quests around here. Mm, let's go to the bar. Sometimes people at the bar have stuff to talk about that'll lead us into little side quests. If not, then we might have to go to New Homestead and start doing some stuff over there. Let's see. If yeah, a thousand bucks! That's why I steal everything! I know, a thousand bucks isn't enough to help me out here. A thousand bucks is what, uh, what's his name's life was worth. How's it Eric. going? Can I help you? Hey there! Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Ooh, I like your eyelashes. Uh, what was the name? Lucky? What's the strangest thing you've seen come through here besides us? Yo! This dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. Okay. He's still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. That Good is a little weird. Too. Was it a chasm bath? I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did. Oh. And I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. The hell's that about, right? I don't know, it must have been a chasm bass fish, the one they make Aurora out of, you know, drugs. Hey, I hear the uh, trade authority sometimes deals in illicit goods. Is that true? Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that because rumors, you know? All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. So <laughs> yes, listen, they take stolen stuff. I'm not gonna stuff. worry about anything other than that. Mm-hmm. All right. Yo, no side quest here. There. Interesting though. Please report Let's see. We got the trade authority. Jane's Goods had a little side quest. You heard? Let me look at this sign right here. Ain't you brave coming to see a bona fide track? Oh, the broken spear. Okay, that's where we're just headed, right? The bar place. Use exchange, reliant medical, governor general. Maybe, well, we were downstairs already. I didn't hear too much drama going on in the community center. All right, let's go to the bar. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. Yeah, this is the guy that was trying to steal from the miners. 
Am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock? Ooh, it's loud in here. Just can't stay away, huh? Yes, what? Go to Mars. All right. Let's see if Jack has anything. Jack? Not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. Ooh, so bright. Hey, do you have any, like, weird local rumors going on? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. Darn. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. Well, I mean, you know, come on. You're right. Because I'm not telling oh. you jack shit. Dang it, Jack. Now, you'd be wise to stick a beer in your mouth and mind your own damn business because I don't put up with this sort of drama. Jack! Oh, fine. I'm out of mm -hmm. here then. Yo, what's up, Hilarious? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream, HD. Alright, well, it looks like. Hello. What a day. We are out of luck here on Sedonia. We'll go ahead and take off. We'll leave for New Homestead. Start working on some side quests down there. Or we could continue some of these. Um, I kind of, I do want to do a little bit of Crimson Fleet stuff before we get back to the main mission. You know what? Yeah, let's do the Crimson Fleet nonsense. All right, switching to you. So uh, just, I do see that we're on commercial right now for a few people. So no more quests on... Sidonia. Gonna switch over to the Crimson Space Fleet side quests. Alright. And then the thing with that though is that I do want people to remember that this is my good playthrough so I can go only a certain I can't go all the way with the Crimson Fleet. I mean, I could, but then it would, it, I wouldn't really be a good character then. So I can only go to a certain point with the Crimson Fleet before I have to come back to the burden of proof why I'm really with the Crimson Fleet is I am working with the United Colonies System Defense Group and they honestly want me to play double agent and get some uh, evidence and stuff to bring the Cl Crimson Fleet to justice. So I'm not really working with them because, you know, I'm trying to be evil, wink, wink. But, uh, you know, at the same time, I'm trying to get this evidence and all that stuff. So we'll see how it goes. I'm a rat. Yes, yes, basically. Yes, perfect. I'm a mole. I'm a rat. Yes. I'm a rat in this quest. I'm a fraud. So we'll go ahead and do a little bit of, uh, I think, well, you know what? What was the next thing that we needed to do? I think just travel to the key. Not only that, I've been trying to do bounties off stream and stuff, and a lot of them are to defeat like Crimson Fleet, uh, the little ships and things like that. And I can't do that because then I'll get a bounty for the Crimson Fleet. And then it's just like this whole cycle that continues on. But we'll see. Yeah, that's, that's a nice rat. We're the uh, rat king. Yes, king of the rats. All right, before I do this, let me go ahead and toke up one last time, escapees. We'll start our new quest line here. Thank you again for hanging out today. Good stream. Yeah, feel free to tell me whatever you want in the chat. Talk about whatever you want. Feel free to ask me any questions about the game. Or honestly, anything you want to ask about. Uh, I'll try to ask random questions too. Anybody have their Halloween costumes planned? Anybody dressing up in general for Halloween? Just curious. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just taking a quick little one hitter quitter. Because we're going to do some damn Crimson Fleet quests. So might as well get in the raider mood, huh? School girl doing drugs on stream. Clip it and ship it. Thank you so much. Good to see you, HD. <clears throat> Oops, drink a little.
little water here. There we go. Yeah, belated happy birthday, hilarious donkey. I'm sorry I didn't stream on your birthday. I did see you in DP's chat, but I was lurking, so I didn't see your happy birthday stuff till later, sadly. <laughs> yeah, life is good. Starfield and Herb, always a good time. Do I have another game in mind after this? Um, no. I mean, there's always a lot of games I could jump on and play. But I'll probably try to go back to, well, of course, I have Fallout 76 still going on. Um, I've streamed Oblivion. I've streamed Skyrim. I've streamed Morrowind. We've streamed uh, Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout 76. I've streamed ESO. But the only one I haven't got to yet is Fallout New Vegas. And I have played Fallout New Vegas back on the 360. Just never streamed it, though. So, you know, that's always an option. That's always in the back of my mind of a game that I would like to bring to the stream. But at the same time, you know, who knows? Sorry, I got a little shiny escapees. Put a little makeup back on. Nice, sorry. Yeah, but Fallout New Vegas is always a good one. But, uh, you know, I'm always open to suggestions as well when it comes to different games to play. I'm more of a Bethesda RPG streamer, but, oh, you know what? I did play and streamed a little bit of Elden Ring. I haven't beat it yet, though. I got a little discouraged on Elden Ring. I just had, I don't know, I I couldn't deal with the chat after a while. Um, well, honestly, it wasn't even the whole chat. It was just like certain people that were coming in and you know doing things that I didn't like, and I had to keep banning them and timing them out and stuff. They'd always apologize and all this and that. But uh, after a while, I kind of let that get to me, so I just stopped playing Elden Ring. But, you know, we could always go back to that. That would be a good one. All right, next thing's next. We're going to travel to the key. So I'm going back to the Crimson Fleet storyline. Once again, I am a rat in this quest, which means I'm, you know, I'm like a double agent. I'm not really working with the Crimson Fleet. Wink, wink. I'm actually supposed to be working with the system defense of the UC colonies, or excuse me, United Colonies. So we'll see how they, this goes. Right now we're infiltrating them. We're going to go into the key, pretending that we are an actual member of the Crimson Fleet. So we've gotten in good with one of their main members. Uh, I just had to help her out with a certain space battle that she was having. So you can't actually, and I've been through here before where I've gone to the key or like, you know, kind of have accidentally been in this area. So if you accidentally wander around the key and you're not a Crimson Fleet member, this whole spaceship, this whole space station that I'm staring at right here will start shooting at you. It'll start attacking you. The people flying around will start attacking you. So basically you cannot come anywhere close to the key unless you are part of the Crimson Fleet. So that's why I'm being you know, allowed to even get close to it right now. All right, let's go. I think, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Almost drove right into it. I thought it was a little bit farther away. All right, let's go ahead and dock. Can I hail them first? Hail. Hail acknowledged. Dock where you like. Oh, okay. All right, I'll dock right there then. Good. I'm scared to be honest. I don't know what's gonna happen in here. I know I'm nervous, dude. I'm sure whoever's in that ship will be thrilled to see you. Oh god, I hope so, adoring fan. I'm scared. Alright, let's board. We have to go talk to Neva. She's the member of the Crimson Fleet that's kind of in higher standing, who we got in good with, so that's why we're allowed to be here. On Looks like we got some drama right away. You wanted 4K, you got 4K. Not my problem. Oh, if don't mind me. I'm me, just he's dropping. Oh, oh, damn! Oh, Woo! <laughs> you kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Damn! Hey, steal from me and get caught. 
better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. That's crazy. That's Neva. That's our friend right there. Oh, man. Whoo! Well, F to pay respects to that guy. Am I still early in this quest, Aaron? I guess so. I'm not sure. All I know is that the first main lady we've talked to is Neva here. So probably, yeah, early in the quest. I don't know. I'm quick saving. No, you know what? Let's hard save. So just curious, can we save that guy before he gets shot? Who knows? Anyways. What the hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? I was scared, Neva. It's my first time to the Crimson Fleet. Jeez. But uh, yeah, f nice to finally put a face to the name. Maybe for you. I'd rather <laughs> shove a shotgun up my nose than remember the face of every lowlife rook who passes through this station. Damn. But all Sounds that aside, brutal. you made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Yay. Pencils ready? Good. Yep, this take notes. floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might All right. look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Looks fine. Yeah, I mean, you know, I better really pisses off the UC though that you have one of their old spacecrafts. <laughs> you think? And that's only part of it. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. He tells it better anyway. But I can give you the short version while we walk the station. Oh, good. We don't just anyway, have to, like, stare at each other I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. All right, sounds good. Let's go. All right. History time. History so, time, everyone. The key. Is in orbit around Put our thinking Subaru. caps on. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the lock. Look at this guy's gun. The UC is so clever. Oh, never mind. I thought it was sticking supermax out of the box. Prison, locks, I mean, it key. is, but it's attached uh, to key, his backpack. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Sounds great. Wow. Looks amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. Going into the cargo bay. Hopefully we don't get jumped. They're like, we know you're lying to us. Everybody's there with their guns pointed. <laughs> we know you're a rat. Oh, now, look. You got see they the fixed it to say right sucks. Here. Of course you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. Yeah, 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 that's What the fine. hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Let me get a, a good screenshot of that. I'm still paying attention. Yeah, open the damn door. Thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here is Jasmine. You need anything for your ship? She's got you covered. Hi, Jasmine. The depot next open this door. Doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After right. stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. Oh, About General time, Goods! You blood neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. Who's that saying that? This lady? You kicked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Alutra. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook. Yeah, this lucky place is sick. Sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. There's like three whoa, stores: whoa. general goods, tactical gear, whatever this lady sells, weapons apparently. The key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure. Laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. All right. Back to my story. Well, nice to meet you, merchants. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. Another store. And that was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Crix had a lot to do with all that, but uh, oh, 
we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. Hi, Zuri. If I don't have it, you don't need it. No, Rook. All right. Blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, neighbor. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. Ooh, fighting. <laughs> girl, fight. Oh, girl, no. fight. Rook, protect me from Zuri's cat vengeance. Cat fight. Cat fight. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. Don't On even right, try to rip me off. Bradley from the I trade know value ball. when I see it. I'm sure you know the deal there. Buy pretty much anything. A trade authority guys up here too. Then wow. we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Know? No free okay. clinics, no free health care. This is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. The bar. And right okay. here. Is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. What did happen to you the last rook? Austin Ray. It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps oh. next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. Maybe we killed it's the last rook. Oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. What's going anyway, on over there? Who's shooting? Shinya Shh. handles our life. The money. We call him our <laughs> the lifeblood. If you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. Oh. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you need creds. Ooh. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Oh, anyway, Shinya will get yeah, you. Yeah, he does set up have some weird system. cyborg I've thing going on right there. To do. Once you're done, real head work, by the way. Introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. All right, what's up, Shinya? I am Shinya Voss, oh, the official move. reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And Reckoner, since eh? Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes. This is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll it's never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Hmm. Well, I mean, uh, I guess that's the most clever security measure I've ever seen. <laughs> Somebody gets out of line, you just shoot them in the bomb in their chest. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Oh man, and Since I'm planning I to betray these the guys. Bulk of transactions Great. and maintain all accounts for the fleet. I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. Oh. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind. And a certain degree of safety. All right, well, uh, but you don't get out much, do you? It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Dang. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. He stands now, around his chair all let me day get long. You set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications, even Dugin would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. Ooh, this look allows at his setup me escapees. to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. He's gonna start up his stream right now. Look at all his monitors. Yeah, you're done. That's it. All We're you need to now system. is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. One of them. One of them. All right, well, that's crazy. Any other, like, modifications I need to know about? None. Other than my chest and arm modifications, I am but a simple man. Is the mm -hmm. interview over now? It's dangerous. Can we get back to work? Yep, time to make those credits. The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time. 
using the computers that surround the core. Using your stream computers too up there? Well, I mean, what kind of jobs do you have? Just curious. Oh, you know, smuggling, piracy, taking things that Stealing. aren't yours. Nothing that should keep you up at night. Well, depending on your methods. Yeah. Oh man, all right, well, uh, I guess sounds like we'll be doing a lot of business together then. If Nave Forgot is his chosen name. wisely, Shinya. we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Yep, Take yep. the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. All right, all right so. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Welcome, Nev. Alright, sounds like that beginning door got fixed. Ready Good. to make those credits? So, wow! We just got introduced to pretty much everyone. That's wild. That guy, I'm assuming, gives us like our little petty crime type jobs or whatever. I mean, that's what he said he did, so... Cool, interesting. Not very smart of him to implant that bomb on his chest, but I get why, you know, he's got all the info and stuff. It could be high collateral damage if he was captured and all that. Good, good, good. So if you're just coming in, I'm playing a rat here in the Crimson Fleet. So I do plan on betraying them to go back with Sistef, but shh, they don't need to know about it, right? Shh. There you go, I couldn't figure out the, uh, the emote for a second there. Yeah, he's a Twitch mod, huh? Exactly. Yo, what's up, Shadow? Good to see you. Happy Monday, you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. We're continuing our Crimson Fleet questline, but once again, just as a side, this is my good character, so I do eventually have to betray the Crimson Fleet, even if I start, you know, like, bonding with some of the um, NPCs here, like, uh, what was her name? Neva or... Uh, any of the merchants down there that were kind of cool, or Shinya, that guy right there. So yeah, I will, even if it breaks my heart, I'll have to backstab them eventually. So nobody get too close with these guys, alright? Alright, we are going to meet Delgado himself. Let's see who the big man is. Ah, there are our other new recruits. Ah, hello, Delgado. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. See, this the two of you are Hispanic the accent, made the much better. Cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. That I do, sir. And I won't disappoint. You'd better not disappoint. You've got to play the part. Or you'll find yourself answering to me, personally. I'm not afraid right, of you. Let's get started here. When that eyeball scar doesn't fleet, scare me. You're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You yeah, stay loyal, so I've heard. you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Oh, thank you so fleet much. Before family. Fleet hey, before thank you. Friends. Send the boom. Hark now, do I hear? Send the boom. Gifting a sub to Sneaky Rat. Woo! Sneaky Rat, I need your help. Help me out here. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Send the boom with that gift sub to Sneaky Rat 1. Whether you like it or not, Sneaky Rat, welcome to the Ascendancy. That's hilarious. Just imagine being that person logging into their Twitch one day. They're like, hey, somebody gifted me a sub. I bet they get gifted a lot of subs. In streams where there's, you know, betrayal and stuff going on. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Send the boom. We're at 36 out of 40. Getting back to that last month's goal. Are you trying to goal. waste my time? No, no, don't shoot me. I'm, uh, I'm just saying, well, uh, why would a pirate organization have so many rules here? Of course we have rules. Yeah, if you think the Crimson us, Fleet was built on a lawless rat, dream, bless think us. again. Our influence, our money, our respect comes from meticulous planning and every last soul in the fleet following my orders to the letter. That is why you need to learn to place the fleet before everything. 
The fleet before everything. Oh, Shadow. Oh, Shadow. Thank you so much. Dude, that's crazy. Hark now do I hear. I am the Shadow gifting five subs. Four, five, four subs to get to that 40 out of 40 goal. Dude, that's crazy. Thank you, Shadow. Escapees, anybody close to your keyboards, please drop some love, some hype, some emotes of any kind. Thank you, Shadow. Woo! Thank you for the gift subs. That's crazy. Thank you for helping me out again, Shadow. You were the person that helped us get to our goal last month, I believe, for September. You want to space out? Yes, Do I'm it spacing out. Your own time. The time is money, no spacing out here. According to Delgado up there. Thank you, Shadow. You're amazing, dude. I appreciate it. 40 out of 40 goal. Let me go ahead and change the title. I know, even though it's only been a few days, we had lost a few subs, sadly. Yeah, 40 out of 40. Cool, thank you so much, Shadow. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. You better start talking. You're an amazing person, Shadow. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Uh, okay, what did he say here? Oh, okay, so I asked him why he had so many rules. He basically told me to fuzz off. So, uh, well, I mean, you know, he said fleet before everybody, fleet before family, fleet before this, fleet before that. I'm just going to play a good Samaritan and be like, got it, boss. I'll be a boss. good little soldier here. <laughs> good. You're getting it already. I like that. Yeah, rub his ego a little bit. And we get on with this. Oh, I thank you. Send the boom. The last Nova. I'm oh, impressed. gifting a that random sub to Malpai. I've said this entire time, Mattis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get you an extra. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Super I have to help her, another too. one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to oh, the not surface, her. It's a different dead rook. Rooks. Okay. You think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story? Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. Yeah, tell her. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. Oh, it is me and some other rook. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Ooh. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. I know the Crick solar system. Is still out there. Very scary. We're going to be the ones to find it. Only because there's a bunch of Crimson Fleet there as well. But, you know, makes sense, of course. Hmm. All right, all right. But real quick, though. Thank you, Send the Boom. That's amazing. Much appreciated. Hark now, do I hear? Whether they like it or not, Malpai has now been ascended in the stream. New sub hype. Oops, what emote was that? Man chicken emote, that's hilarious. <laughs> Ambitious Panda gifting the two subs, bringing us to a hype train, woo! Thank you so much, Panda. Oh my God, you guys, that's crazy. It's a good Monday. Had to trigger the hype train, huh? Thank you so much, you Panda. Want to space out? Do it on your own time. This guy's gonna get pissed. Yeah, hype train, hype train, woo, woo, woo. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. You know what, let's bust out the, uh, bust out the recorders here. Thank you, Panda, thank you guys. Everybody involved with the hype train right there. Vicious Panda, send the boom, I am the shadow. Shout out to you guys, thank you so much. Yeah! And the 500 biddies from Shadow, it's amazing. Thank you so much. Woo! Thank you 
so much, you guys. That's crazy. Thank you, Send the Boom. Thank you, Shadow, for the biddies. Dropping some biddies love in the channel for Shadow there. Dropping more hype and love for Send the Boom with the five more gifted subs. That's crazy. Oh, thank you for all the love, you guys. Wow, it hasn't been. Wow. It's been a while since we've even hit a hype train. <laughs> so I'm surprised. Oh my god. Thank you so much, you guys. Are you That's trying crazy. To waste my time? Oh my god. I can't believe it. Thank you, Thor, for the 100 biddies right there, too. Biddies love going out to Thor of Asgard. Thank you for coming in with that amazing raid earlier, too, from Sweet Taiga. That's crazy, guys. We got a follow as well. Huge shout out to the follow. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I don't know what to say. That's amazing. Much appreciated. I should learn more songs in case situations like these happen, because these are the only songs I know here. Are you trying to waste my time? Oh, wait, time? no, no. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. That's crazy. We haven't had a hype train in a long time. We Level three hype train? Oh, my gosh. That's insane. Thank you, escapees. You guys rock. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on up here. Delgado's like pissed. He's like, well, you hurry. What are you doing? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, thank you, Panda. Oh my god, Vicious Panda. And you guys are gifting like the like people I know and stuff. Like Hilarious Donkey got one earlier. We got King Atomos. I know him. Snow Shoveler and Ogina Ribbon. You want to space out? Oh man, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Panda. Woo! That's crazy, you guys. Wow. Thank you, guys. It's amazing. That's crazy. All right, so uh, we have to go on another initiation. I'm like, dude, haven't I already been initiated here? How many initiations do I have to go through? What? Were you expecting a goddamn graduation ceremony? Yes, Think I'm just yes, gonna slap a skull on you and send you on your way? Make no mistake, you are being tested all the time. Every job you take will be under constant scrutiny. And Neva? Oh, she's just waiting for you to screw things up. Oh, she is, is she? Hmm. All right, all right, all right. So maybe you should tell me more about Crick's legacy. Before Crick's left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crixus Legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. And now Before they want us to go odds, we'll first and look need for Crixus Legacy? And oh, I would great. wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Well, it Crick's had to be written down somewhere, Neva. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. Some of us being <laughs> Delgado. Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operated at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Nope. Oh. All right, I mean... Yes, yes. <laughs> then we'll be unstoppable. Exactly. Shh, just getting into it. Now you're it. beginning to understand. Yeah, Delgado, okay. yeah. Enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. Just feed to that end, go. the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. All Since right. Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't. Keep me waiting. Oh man, the other rookie doesn't have his own ship. That guy's way out of our level. He's down below it's and we're up right. here with our own ship. All right, so I did get an achievement for that. Rook meets King, join the Crimson Fleet. Not bad, not bad. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. 
I wish I, I mean, I would have said more, but man, this guy was like staring me down. I was like, oh, I gotta get away from Delgado. He's gonna kick me out of the Crimson Fleet if I just keep ignoring him. All right, let's see, let's see. But thank you guys, I appreciate it a ton. Shout out to Vicious Panda, send the boom, and I am the shadow for all the gift subs, the biddies, all the love today. We got to that level four hype train. That was amazing. That's insane, you guys. We haven't had a hype train level one in a, a long time, so I'm very appreciative. I, that's amazing. You guys are fantastic. You mean a lot to me, escapees. All right, so I'll admit I was a little distracted. All I know is that we're like kind of being sent on some wild goose chase, something about Crick's legacy, something about working with another rookie and meeting Delgado at a certain location. So where's that location? First things first here. We're going to Echoes of the Past or I could let me show on map. Oh, it doesn't say. I'm actually not too sure what type of evidence I'm supposed to be looking for here. But we'll continue on the Crimson Fleet path a little bit. So Delgado asked me to meet him on a planet called Suvarov, the supposed origin of Crick's legacy. Together we'll be exploring a supermax prison called The Lock in an effort to uncover information about the elusive treasure. I've been to one of those weird supermax prisons and it just had some uh, enemies in there like ecliptics or something and then uh, towards the end there's like this big old vault that I could open up uh, but there wasn't there's some credits and I think like a legendary weapon in the vault but it wasn't anything too good had it been a legendary rifle that would have been nice but it was like a legendary knife or something all right so we're going up to the lock here Let's do it. Oh, we got a level three hype train emote. That's cool. Thank you for the lurk panda. You're amazing. I hope you have a good Monday. Thank you, boom. Yeah, choo choo. What is that, a fox or is that an owl? Kind of looks like an owl, huh? Hmm. That's cool, like an owl with flames for eyes. Good old Twitch with their emotes, huh? Uh, speaking of Twitch and like streams and stuff, recently, oh, you know what? We'll, we'll keep that story for later. We're we're on Cricks now. About all right, time all right. You got here. Yeah, I told snowing. you you were wasting your time, Dell. Oh man, this is the other rook. Man, why they had to make him so hot? So, uh, who's this uh, very attractive man you have here? Wait, what did he say? I guess, well, I always keep my word, Delgado. Yeah? We will see. Except for when I don't. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. Yeah, you arguing, that? fight, fight, fight. Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going yeah, to go through this Yeah, imagine letting once. the rook start talking down to you. We are here to, to dig Oof. up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Aww. Whatever you pick up, Ooh. don't think. Don't get creative. Bring it straight to me. All right. Yeah, don't worry. I don't think Mathis over there is capable of thinking. <laughs> if that was supposed to be a joke, I am not laughing. Oops. Okay, my bad. Don't worry about laughing, Delgado. It'll be a goddamn laugh riot when I split open his head with a crowbar. Oh. All right, that's enough. Apparently, we're fighting if already. If you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet. Then you need to follow one simple rule. What we love when each other and get job, along. You do oh. exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't oh, work for you, so scary, just say Delgado. so. I will leave you on this ice bar without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly why my sentiments exactly. All right. Well, you know what? Understood. I could point the finger, but he's probably not going to give a damn and just yell at me. So, all right, all right, all right, whatever. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. All right, let's go. That's the weapon you're taking, a Grendel. Imagine taking a Grendel. No, just joking. 
man, you sure are a little bit slow, Delgado. Oh, oh, never mind. Watch out, you guys. Oh, there's more? Oh, maybe I should have stayed behind, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Up ahead somewhere, it looks like. You wanna mess with the Crimson Fleet Pirates? Take cover now! Go hard up That's here! What you get for messing with a pirate? Alright. A group of how many of us? Four? We're getting held up at the entrance by little tiny aliens. Alright. Oh, oh, oh! Remember, no bonding, right? Yeah, no bonding. I know, huh? It's gonna be hard to backstab these people. I am gonna be sad when I have to, you know, pull the plug on this quest here. Imagine I actually start liking the Crimson Fleet, then I stay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Evil playthrough halfway through. All right, looks good. Let me start. Let me use my magic powers, y'all. All right, lots of aliens ahead. They're in the ground, oh though. God, all right, we'll just start disturbing all of these creatures here. I'm assuming we're gonna have to pretty much clear out this whole base, right? Maybe. Oh, what am I doing? All right, where's my knife? Wasty ammo on these little creatures. All right, so far so good. More creatures over here. Come on out! Come on out! Do a little pest control, apparently. You know what? I'm just going on my own. I was gonna wait for those guys, but they're taking a little time. so good. I know I used up a lot of energy using my damn knife. All right, what was it, gentlemen? Anything good? Here we are. The place <laughs> that took a while. where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding Hi, the lady. legacy and eventually the Crimson Fleet. The lock. The lock. All right. So, uh, yeah, refresh my memory. What was the lock? About a hundred years ago, this icebox was a maximum security penitentiary for the UC. Oh, yeah, 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 the jail, old the jail. Originally, I should have remembered. Sorry, Delgado. They just Delgado. prisoners onto the surface of Subarov. But after people cried foul, they built this place. Cozy, huh? Makes sense, makes sense. Problem is, though, we don't know what's inside. Could be more of these little aliens around here. Oh, Grow a spine, will ya? I'm just saying, Mathis. I'm trying to be scientific here. There is a huge here. difference between being a coward and being careful. There we go. So Delgado you, knows what's watch up. Watch yourselves. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. You, Mathis. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. Hi, Lily. All right, all right. Lily joined. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. You want to say hello, Lily? Lily says hello. <laughs> we burp, are burp, in. Burp. Let's go. There we go. All right, let's go. 
I'm quite curious myself. You sit right there, Lily. Mama needs space for her hands. Yep, yep. Or you could be over here too. Yes, I'm still here. You'd be right there. I'm trying to find her a good spot. No, none of my leg. Oh boy. First time I had to Favorite spot right on my leg, huh? Well, I mean, <laughs> thank you, HD. I guess I could be like, uh, like this for a little bit. Alright, I'll be like this. Uh, okay. Oh man, did everybody just go on without me? My own darn fault. Wait! They're talking! Stop talking! And that's how okay. the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. I didn't hear it's Mathis. Not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Mouth shut, eyes open. Sounds legit. Just checking, just checking. Want to see if anybody's around. Looks good. Scanning to see if there's anything decent to pick up, too. Oh, there's a storage box here. Oh, hold on! Unlocking something. Telling the group to wait up. Let's see. I'd say that one, that one. way that way oh all that work for 74 credits Ooh. oops all right let's go wait wait for me gentlemen I was just messing around back there just messing around this must be where they registered the prisoners before transferring them to a cell I guess I could come back and loot this place later huh Hold on, gentlemen, found another thing to lockpick here. Looks like maybe that one, that one. Possibly, oh, uh-oh. Oh no, I might have messed it up. Okay, this one and this one here. There you go. Thank you, Lily. Better them than Osto, am I right? Ooh, I got a cool weapon called the Negotiator. Uh -huh. Oh, uh-oh, what's going on? I felt that too. Back off. Back off. Oh, it's just uh, creatures. Okay, it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we might need a little bit more health. Get up! Ew. Gross! Alright, there's a couple more! Oh, there's the big daddy right there! The big one right here! All right, let me just switch out guns and just take a while. All right, we got the big one. Oh, there's another one. That should be worth a few shares. Yeah, there's a few more, though. Don't get too excited yet, gentlemen. There's, like, one down there. Just waiting for us. All right. Well, that was a little crazy. And I'm over encumbered. Damn it. That's the bad part about this. All right. What the hell is that, Delgado? I'm starting Must to seem like a mess. death mission. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Oh, you think so? Yeah. And their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Yeah, praise the Lord here. Well, I mean, you know, you're right. We do need to move quickly. 
I was gonna be sarcastic with this guy, but it just seems like it's not working too much. <laughs> well, I mean, he was being rude to us. Yeah, sounds like someone needs to grow, pair. No, no, fine, we'll, we're gonna move quickly. Hey, how about that? Guess you're not so stupid after all. Oh, <laughs> I should have said the grow the pair thing. Well, <laughs> look at that. One firefight and the two of you become best buddies. I hate well, him, Delgado. See. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you yeah, and Matthew head friend. up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Oh man, all right. Are you sure you want that, Delgado? Sounds like we might, you know, open up more, uh, you know, a can of worms and all that, so to say. Yeah, me too, Aaron. I'm gonna do this quest line again on my evil playthrough. Oh! Oh, oh god, oh god, what happened? We're locked in with this guy of all people. Damn it. What, you scared, Mathis? Come on. We'll be fine. Oh, oh, Dredda. My bad. Can you hear me? Dell! Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. And doesn't take a genius to see that. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? This guy kind of looks like, uh, you guys remember Bam Margera and Ryan Dunn? Uh, looks like Ryan, Ryan Dunn a little bit, to be honest. Maybe it's the beard. Um, well, let's see. Hmm. We stick with the plan. What else are we going to do? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Well, we can't cut through the damn let's ice. We're on our own now. Well, I know that. But, uh... I think, well, I don't think it's a test, but I think we should just continue to follow Delgado's orders. You do what Why? you want. Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? Yes. The hell with that. I have a better plan. Well, then go do your he better plan. Use this opportunity to take out Delgado and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Betrayal, Mathis? Betrayal? Well, funny you should say that. I should shoot you myself for saying this. Exactly right. How are we supposed to take him out? Are you serious? We're doing this now. I'm not betraying Delgado. He's my friend. Oh, come Weak. on. We're just a couple of rooks. When are we ever going to have a chance like this again? Plenty of times. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Oh, please. This guy's been rude to me the whole time. Imagine being rude to somebody and then thinking they're going to work with you. I'm going to rat his ass out the second I have the chance. Um, How do I know you're not just a plant set up by Delgado to test my loyalty? Hmm? Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. That's exactly I'm what a rat would say. I'm busting my ass to become one of the Crimson Fleet captains just like you. And in mm. case you missed it, that icefall trapped both of us in here. Unless we find a way out, no one's reporting anything to anyone. Ever again. All right, all right. You know what? Let's, uh, we can play double, double agent. All right, all right. I, I'm on board for now. Playing it safe, huh? I can respect that. All right, all right. we'll turn that. this guy in when we have the chance, though. Now, let's find a way out Buzz him. He was hot when I first met him, but he, as soon as he opened his mouth... And not because of the accent. The accent was hot, too. He just started being rude and stuff. All right, so what do we... Okay, what am I up to now? I'm still continuing to the control room, right? We just got trapped in. Looks like a bearded Chris Pine. I'll have to, who's Chris Pine? <laughs> Just like most guys that send the boo. Well, <laughs> looking at Chris Pine. Can you imagine disease. how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate. Oh to yeah, yeah, yeah! If he guards. had a beard, that's hilarious. But without the beard, yeah, that's what you would look like. What's this guy's name again? That's what you'd look like, Mathis, if you had no beard. Very weak chin. No. 
All right. Well, I mean, there's some stuff over here. They aren't paying us enough to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all complaining. They aren't paying us enough to poke through this scrap heap. Yeah, well, I don't need payment to, uh, you know, loot. I do that on my own volition. I think that one, that one, and this one up here. Oops, almost locked that one in the wrong spot. Ooh, a con relay. <laughs> it was garbage. All right, let's go. Come on, Mathis. We'll quick save just in case any shenanigans start to happen. Oh! Knock down that loose panel! Man, that's creepy. Now we're trapped in this weird prison area. Alright, one second, you guys. I fell out of my Xbox party. Let me jump back in real quick. Used to be if you weren't in an Xbox party, it would mess up the audio. I actually don't know if that's still a thing, but I still do the Xbox party. Help! Delgado! Help us! Oh, they left! They're not even in there anymore! There's gotta be a way out of this goddamn place. Delgado! He's gone. It was a trap. I don't know, someone's betraying us. I have no idea who. Ooh, what's this? Oh no, police robots! I mean, we find dead ones now, but there could be ones that are actually here, working up top. For hanging us out to dry. Oh, I'm sure he's trying to open the door. Actually, no, he's not. I don't even see him anymore. That rat bastard, Delgado. He should be right in the center of that room, waving Hello? us down. Hello? Delgado? Of you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Where are you at? Oh, right here. So the Delgado! Made it, huh? I made it, but seems that Matthias died along the way. No, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, it was a close one. But, uh, we're in one piece. Well, brush the dust off and listen up. Well, two pieces, technically. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm oh, not he's going stuck too. Oh, and second, whoa! Try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. He's about stuck that? too. I laugh my ass off. That's hilarious. That's what you get, Delgado. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, well, I mean, so well, how exactly will I know if I find anything useful about Jasper? Is it gonna be like you know printed, huge, bold letters? Otherwise, I might miss it. I'll make it easy for you. If you find anything that says. Cricks or legacy. Okay, or that's all I wanted to know, Delgado. Really just, isn't that difficult. I know, I just needed to know if it had labels and stuff, okay? We got it. We got it. Yeah? You'd better. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it, boss. Not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. Uh, you know Mathis, don't you? Alright, look, he's stuck too. Remind me to take me next vacation somewhere a wee bit more comfortable, like. Well, you just stepped on that dead guy. A desert planet? take the dead guy stuff. Oh, it's an old UC guard. Makes sense though, this was an old jail, hence the police robots downstairs. Cool, so I'm looking for anything- ooh, money! Looking for anything with the words Cricks, Legacy... What's that? Toxic gas mine? Uh, probably don't want to touch that. Don't want to step on that. How can these- Things live in this kind of cold. That's ah, bullshit. You have some respect back there, Mathis. Those things are called deceased corpses, all right? You and I could become one of those if we're not careful. No, I know he's talking about the aliens. I'm just joking. All right, transfer area control workstation. Ooh, sounds important. Let's get our mitts in here. Do 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 do. All right, security controls. Oh, set the security to wipe out Delgado and anyone else downstairs. Oh. 
could be. But first, let's read these messages. LIMS 1645, United Colonies message. Lock intra prison message system. Oh, the LIMS. From Warden Tom Gillespie to transfer area operations, yada, yada, yada. Please be advised that all prisoners are to be classified and sent to their proper intake areas based on the following criteria. A block standard prisoner, B block standard, C block is for violent offenders, D high risk prisoners, and E block solitary confinement. Wow, I wonder if any of these prisoners made it, you know, are they alive? It'd be crazy. Well, of course not. Who'd be giving them food, huh? All right, next message. Please be aware that we have a class five, extremely dangerous, highly violent prisoner transfer occurring today. Jasper Cricks himself will be arriving on shuttle five with a full escort detail. This individual is to be immediately transferred to D block, solitary confinement after. So I'm assuming whatever we're gonna need to find is gonna be on D block, makes sense. Do not attempt to search or perform standard medical examinations until the prisoner is in a secure location. I urge all security personnel not to understand, not to underestimate Crick's ability to escape custody. All right, and security controls. We're on lockdown, let's override the lockdown. All right, oh, okay, we opened the door for Delgado, nice. Attention. Lockdown Jeez. mode has been I rescinded. I am never putting ice in me drinks ever again. It's not that cold. Put a thicker spacesuit on, Mathis. <laughs> Tell him get over it. Alright, well we're going. We're continuing down. Did it say where we're going? Oh, intake. Once we get into secure access A, B, and C and all that, we'll know we're in the prisoner's area. Any of these that I don't need for the second level? Nope, all of them can be used on level two. <laughs> All right, that one looks like maybe this one here. That, that, yep, that works. There, right there. That one could work with this one, maybe. Yep. All right, how are you guys liking the lock picking system in this game? Now that, you know, we've had a few weeks to get used to it and stuff. At first I was a little unsure, I'm like, I don't know, but no, I, I enjoyed it too. I was like, I do like puzzles though, so it didn't bother me too, too much. Oh, I just took two rescue axes. Didn't need those. All right, prisoner intake. We already know Crix is probably cell D or level D or whatever. Hmm. Ooh, activate D block X. Auxiliary power. All right, I guess. Maybe to at least open the door and stuff. Please be advised that we are taking all staff complaints regarding the intolerable temperatures within the lock very seriously. Oh, I guess you're not the only one complaining about it, Mathis. Unfortunately, our facility has been provided a poorly engineered heating system, and they don't care because it's a prison. Uh, that is woefully insufficient to combat the cold, leaving some sections of the prison at temperatures as low as 5 degrees Celsius. Administration understands the conditions within the lock are less than ideal for staff, so we ask for- yeah, but they don't care about the prisoners at all, which, you know. So we ask for your patience while we wait for an improved system to be delivered from New Atlantis. In the meantime, portable heating units and cold weather gear has been made available for assignment. Please see your section supervisor for details. The security alert is being issued to all personnel. It's been brought to our attention that some of the prison population has discovered a way to create improvised weapons by carving chunks of permafrost from cell block balls. Well, there you go. 
thermal coils from portable heating units are being cannibalized and used to manufacture these dangerous items. Therefore, security has no choice but to remove the portable heating units from all prison cells. Well, extra blankets and cold weather gear, such as jackets and thermal undergarments, will be distributed to replace the units. If you observe any prisoner in possession of an improvised weapon, be certain to activate a blue alert before approaching the subject. Ooh. Trivia questions? What? I'd like to congratulate Brian Richard for winning last month's trivia contest. This month's questions are below. Good luck. What type of star pulsates rapidly, which causes it to vary in diameter, temperature, and luminance? A dying star, I don't know. What's another name for a neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field that might occur after a supernova? A black hole! What is the second brightest star in New Atlantis's night sky? Gagarin. What are the largest known structures in the universe? Uh, that's a good one. The buildings in New Atlantis. What is the graph called on which the intrinsic brightness of stars is plotted against their temperatures? I have no idea. The Aztec calendar. <laughs> the Mayan and Aztec calendars. No, no we, of course not. All right, anyways. Lock picking confused. Yeah, it confused me at first, too. I was like, what the f am I supposed to be doing here? Wait for me, Mathis. Hey, 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 no leaving. Looks like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out. Guard tower overlooking the cell block? You mean that one? All right, all right. I thought we were like watching Delgado run around down there or something. Okay, quick saving. One second, escapees. I'm gonna go run to the restroom. Shadow hates it, no. I uh, put on a mod for the lock picking that makes it so there's only two moves before it unlocks. Nice, Shadow, high five on that one. No, I'll be honest, it was very confusing for me at first, but I kinda like it, I do like puzzles. Um, if you guys remember Far Harbor and Fallout 4, there was a certain quest with Dima that involved you having to solve these puzzles by moving these blocks to certain areas to complete the conduit of energy. And uh, I know a lot of people hated that part, but I actually kind of liked it. I know. All right, I will be right back, you guys. I gotta go use the restroom. I just drank my whole coffee during the stream, so I'll see you soon. Yeah, save it and shave it. Once again, thank you for all the support, all the love today. You guys are amazing, escapees. Uh, the only sadness is I have to wake up my little dog. Lily, come on, baby. Oh, I feel so bad for her. She's sitting sideways. All right, I won't disturb her, but I'll have to like go around her a little bit. Okay, one second. I'll be right back.
OC must have burned some serious cash when they lost this place. <laughs> Serves them right. Look at this dump. <laughs> I can't imagine being stuffed down here to rot. Poor bastards. I can't believe this is where the fleet started. All right, sorry about that. There we go. Yep, little Chihuahua. Finally, back in the living room. I have more room to like spread out and stuff. <laughs> okay, so if you're just joining us, escapees, we are working on the Crimson Fleet quest line. I do have plans to betray them in the end. No secret there. But, uh, you know, I do want to work with them at least a little bit. So we're looking for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm working with a fellow rookie here in the Crimson Fleet known as Mathis Castillo. And uh, we got separated from our actual, you know, quest giver, the boss, Mr. Delgado. But we're in a prison right now looking for any information on this old Crimson Fleet leader known as Solomon Cricks, or I don't know what his name was, but something Cricks. And uh, yeah, so let's see. Supposedly we have to go to that guard tower down yonder. Open up! So this is D block. This is getting to those violent offenders type area. Let that power go to your head. How does he know I have that magic power? Don't tell me this guy can be like a permanent companion later on. Alright, look lively, Mathis. Better be ready. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, Mathis, let's see what you got. There you go, there you go. Wanted to see how strong he was. Not very strong, sadly. Alright, that's fine, though. This is space suit right here. Yes, it is. All right, I'm supposed to be going over this way, but oh, we us right. Looks like the walkway is out, so we do have to go back this way. All right, beep beep, out of the way. Are these the prisoner cells? Because it looked like one of them had a computer or something. Oh no, it's a sink. Never mind. Sorry. Yeah, I thought this was like a little computer right there. 
Nope, it's a toilet. There's a dead prisoner. Let's pat him down. Uh oh, I hope I got the right one. If not, well, oops. Oh, we might have. Yep. This guy had some drugs on him and prison scrubs. I'll take some prison scrubs. Green fashionable suit. What? The Count of Monte Cristo. Ooh, this guy knew what what good literature was all about. There's got to be a way out of this goddamn place. We're getting there, Mathis. We're getting there. Calm your horse. Oliver Twist. I like to pick books up and then I just sell them. Get a few credits out of them. Let's see what's in here. This is a more advanced prison cell, so... That one possibly... Maybe this one? But let me try to unlock the next level before I lock it in. Alright, maybe there, and then I'd need one that has three. Nope, that wouldn't fit. Oh yeah, I guess that, that might work. Alright, let's lock it in. So we got... Now we have this one, that one. And then I'm hoping this one and this one. There we go. Ooh, more lockpicks, hey! Eh? Who gave this other prisoner some lockpicks and why wasn't he- Oh, maybe he was! I was gonna say, why wasn't he able to bust himself out? But then again, there is no dead body here, so maybe they did. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Back me up, Mathis! Back me up! Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god! Fuck off! Alright, I'm not in a good spot right now. Uh-oh, explosive barrels! Alright, nothing in here. We're good, we can go downstairs. Let's move, move, move! Alright, made it to the other side. We still need to make it up here to this lovely tower. Let's see, supposedly there's enemies somewhere, but I don't see them. Oh, maybe right there. Oh, and ahead of us too. Great. Alright, I'm lock picking. Oh yeah, yeah, Jasper Cricks. Thank you for reminding me about that. That was his name. Dukemon, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. We're currently working on some Crimson Fleet stuff, but I'm only in it for the credits. Only in it to betray them, sadly. fit right there. Then I need one that looks like this a little bit. Alright, let's try to lock those in. Oops, did I mess it up? Oh no, this one. Alright. Maybe that, which would leave one. Nope. 
Maybe that. All right, I think this might work. Let's see. There you go. Ah, oh, crap pistol. All right, where are they at? Where are they at? Down there? Well, good eye, Mathis, good eye. Oh, when we get to the tower? All right. He said we should talk. Okay, before I talk to him though, remember, he wants me to betray Delgado and I don't want to do that just yet. Yeah, I still have to get evidence and all this and that before I'm exiled from the Crimson Fleet. So have oh. you thought about what I've said? Jesus Christ, Mathis, you scared me. Well, I mean... Dude, I mean, quit bringing this up, bro. You're gonna get us both killed. Yeah, right. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can I'm still I'm sure he's the still job. alive. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? I'll try I have gotten my hands dirty before, but still, Mathis, I mean, man, I'm thinking about it, okay? I'm thinking about it. Well, we're kind of on the clock here. Just remember, when this all goes down, you better make the smart choice. Yeah, he's planning on backstabbing Delgado. So now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? See, plus, I don't like how this guy's real rude to me, too, so, hmm. I mean, I'll be honest, we find a way out of this place and uh, keep looking for more of that Crick's special info. Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. All right. Oh man, this guy, he's pressuring me to make a choice. I think I'm gonna choose Delgado though. Yeah, Delgado actually, well, he's got a smart head on his shoulders. A rude dude, huh? I know. Next time I want to see what happens to you if I go with Mathis. Well, actually, who knows? I mean, well, because I am going to backstab the Crimson Fleet eventually, so maybe maybe I should pick up Mathis since we both are going to do, you know, the backstabbing. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. Prisoner records. Sure, let's just go down the line here. Unoccupied, some guy named Hulk Gerald. Another guy that died, he's deceased. Craig, Xander Butler, Time and Bean, Leonidas O'Connor, Joshua Farrell. Nobody here. That one's corrupted. All right, Jasper Cricks, where is he at? Supposedly he's on this list somewhere. Ah, there he is. He is in cell D03118. Status is unknown on him, so yeah, he might be alive. Due to ongoing cons uh, security concerns, please adhere to the following procedures when accessing prison cell blocks for inspections and prisoner roll call lineups. Report to the appropriate switch station Ensure there's a minimum of four security personnel. Use the switch station intercom to contact the guard tower. Yada yada yada. D block has been designated as a high risk prisoner unit, which means it will be housing some of the most dangerous offenders in our facility. All D block security personnel are therefore fully authorized to use whatever force is necessary to defend the lives of any staff member that may be threatened by an inmate. If a weapon is discharged in the line of duty, be sure to fill out an ARP-07 form on any available workstation incent or to log into the incident. Huh, all right. And last note here, which actually unlocks something. 
please note that security has come across items in cell D02106 that could be the catalyst for a possible escape attempt. At the time I am sending this message, that particular cell was unoccupied, so regular inspections weren't being performed, meaning that our team overlooked the contents. Please keep this cell sealed, and we will investigate after I handle some other issues that have suddenly popped onto my radar. That could be the cell that I already got into that had the lockpicks and all that stuff in there. I was like, hey, what's, who gave this guy stuff to get out? All right, all right. Cell oh, yeah, yeah. The control switch. I have to at least unlock it, huh? Warning, do not unlock cell block switches before performing a full identity check, yada, yada, yada. Let's unlock all of them. Fuzz it. Yep, do that one, that one, and that one, please. Good. E03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. Yep. Uh, I think that's it. Alright. So now we have to go down there. Come on, Mathis. Uh oh. Can you jump? We're gonna have to jump here. Yeah. Do a little uh, parkour. Alright, here's a cell. Uh oh, what happened? Oh god. Oh, it's one of these creatures, alright. Not bad. Not the worst thing I've come across, Mathis. Uh oh. Well, where did he go? Where are you at, Mathis? Don't tell me he went downstairs to go fight. What a moron. I think he went downstairs to go fight. Well, I'll be honest, that's not my problem. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Ah, here we go. D-block section cell release switch. Go ahead, activate it. Like this, he's dying. I think Mathis died. That's fine by me. All right, now it wants me to go fully across over there. Oh man, here they come! Damn it, Mathis! You're supposed to take care of these guys. him? Oh man. <laughs> you okay? Oh, I had to heal him? Oh, it's bull crap, dude. I didn't even know we could use med packs on our friends. Him. You owe me a med pack, Mathis. Come on, those things aren't cheap. Patting down the dead over here. Oh, what's that? Storage crate. That one, and this one. Oh, I might have messed it up. Oh, there we go. Nice. Teal engineering outfit? Oh, what a bust. All right, good enough, we'll take it. Now, speaking of med packs, I should probably use one on myself there. So far, so good. We're looking for Jasper Cricks. Either his dead body or some information on him. All right, everyone okay? So far, so good. I'm also working with Mathis back here. He wants to betray 
Delgado, the dude we're working with. I don't know. little alien creatures. That's about it, though. Are you good? Come on, let's go. We're needed back up top over here. Yeah, I had no idea we could heal people. That's my first time I've ever healed a companion. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. I just walked up to him, pressed the A button because I was going to talk to him. Actually, I was hoping I could laugh at him. That one was level 35. All right, skipping through all of these prison areas, prison cells, I should say. Is this the prison cell I need? It might be, oh, that might be the one that had a whole bunch of paraphernalia in it. That's kind of cool. Oh, well, none of these are the prison cells I was looking for, damn it. Alright. I think it's one level below us, Mathis. Come on. Maybe somewhere through here? Uh, probably not. I think that's the shower area. Oh, my bad. I think I got friendly fired right there. That was my fault. I ran right in front of him. I think they're fast. Alright, let's see. Yeah, get him, Mathis! Get him! Somehow I have to go back this way. Which I could have sworn we came from that direction. Alright, get me back over here. Oh! Busted my ankle a little bit. Pulling that move. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I'm over encumbered too, no wonder. Oh. Yeah, I have been through here. Oh, I missed something, aha! A lamp? Special lamp? Oh, the base of this desk lamp appears to be loose. Hmm, pry it open. Ah, oh, what is this? Today, I bumped into Jasper Crick. all yapping about a ship carrying a fortune and credit. I know it's usually bullshit, but he seemed to have details. After striking up a conversation, I found out the ship was a Gal Bank transport named Legacy that went down in some remote system during the war. Legacy That's happens exactly to be a ship, Crick's Legacy. Oh. I need to contact Carter to let him know it's time to get off this rock. He'll help the mining details slip into the utility closet and ventilation room. That's where we'll dig. Not up. Through. Right to the armory. Makes sense. Carter mentioned that security keeps rotating codes on all the terminals in the lock, so we'll have to coordinate this carefully. For now, we'll continue using his locker in the showers area as a drop point for the code to the utility closet. Oh, we're just next to the showers area. By this time next month. I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. So Jasper Crix was plotting his escape. That was his big, you know. Delgado was right. Oh. Crix must have hit the Galbang transport and stashed away the money or something. Yeah, that was his we big heist. This right. <laughs> and we're gonna be filthy, stinking rich in no time. That was Crix's legacy. The legacy was a Galbang transport ship. Ah, makes sense. All right, all right. 
I'll see what's up there. So now we're going to have to somehow get those codes to unlock that door. And it's a little bit tricky, they said. Jump through! Oh! Well, good luck, Matthias, dealing with that. Yeah, I just left him to deal with an alien. <laughs> oh well. Alright, let's go to the area that's closest to me right ahead. Let's see, it should be here. This looks like the shower room, I think. There we are. Alright, Carter's dig evidence. Oh, gig. Okay, Carter's Carter. gig. Confirming that the latest code to the utility room is 48611071. Somebody write that the down. The crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut through the ice. So I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. There's some evidence. When the tunnel reaches the armory, I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, get your ass to the shuttle bay. Will you walk right. out at this? If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report Why is this guy heavy guard. breathing all the time? Well, Sounds like he's been running every time we hear happened. him. <sighs> all right. <sighs> Looks like it's almost time for the heist. You ready? We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna get off this rock. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> yeah, too much space Burger King or something, huh? What are they feeding him in that kitchen? I don't know. Alright. Ah, okay, so this was the evidence that I needed for the UC Vigilance. Ah, okay, okay. Alright, maybe working with Mathis. You know, I don't know how this will turn out in the end, but all I know is that I am going to betray the Crimson Fleet eventually, so that time might be coming sooner than I thought. Now that we found the evidence we were looking for. Alright, let's see. Need to go in through a computer. I need to put this code in somewhere. Oh great, computer's all the way at the end of the other hall. Wonderful. Alright, I'm gonna try to parkour it. I don't know if I can make it, but we're gonna see. Oh my god, I made it! with my arms. I had to grab onto the ledge. No, I thought I was dead right there. I was, I was done for. Uh-oh. Trouble? Of course, there's always trouble. All right, so far so good. and open this door here. Apparently, I guess we popped the numerical code in. I'm assuming. Beep, beep. All right, back to the other side. No way to parkour this time around, though. I think I have to go the whole way. Let me switch back to personal atmosphere. I am a little bit over encumbered. Probably a lot of bit by now. Alright, we need to go lower. Oh. There goes my other angle. Alright, let's see. Oh, I thought I opened it! Oh my god. Requires a computer! I put buttons, or I pushed buttons on that computer over there. Damn it. What now? Was I not fast enough? I must have done something wrong. Mm. Alright. Another parkour! Oh god. Okay, we made it. Maybe it was the wrong code, huh? Oh! 
a loose panel. Ah, apparently where they cut through, huh? All right. Wait a minute, locate the cache. Wasn't I supposed to locate the catch? Hold myself. Yeah, we're supposed to locate a cache in cell D02106. Damn it. Alright, is that the, the one that had the quest marker on it for a little bit? Let me see here. Shh! Quiet down, Matthias. I kind of want what's in that cell block over there. Alright, I think I can just ugh, jump from here to here. And we'll just go up this way. Thank you again for hanging out, Escape Bees. Good stream so far. Alright, this cell requires me to access a computer. Now, what computer is it, though? And it looks like, honestly, the only thing in there are kind of digipigs. It looks like there's maybe a med pack. I don't know, there might be like a weapon, a cool weapon in there. You never know. Look around for a computer, Mathis. Wall? We'll pick up whatever you want. He's over there complaining about picking through the trash. Like, well, take the good stuff then. Uh, okay, let me see. I'm gonna jump from here over here. Because I remember this guard tower up here had a computer. Let's go see. Any enemies? Here's a computer. I don't know if this one's going to help us out. Oh, I did already open up all the doors. Damn it. Yeah, we got the prisoner records. Hmm. So it's probably not this computer then, huh? Trying to figure out how to open that other... Uh, prison cell over on the other side. If not, it's not a heal. Oh, oh, oh god. I was just about to say it's not a huge deal. We can go on without it, but. Oh, oh. Oh, these poor prisoners. A ratchet. What's ratchet? These guys had money. If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry. I know, Delgado was useless during this quest, though. He goes and gets stuck on another side of the, uh, the ice wall or whatever. We get barricaded away from each other, that is. And so I'm left to work with this guy. Which I would have rather have liked to work with Delgado, but... Well, you know how that is. Yeah, I have no idea where the other computer would be. I was hoping to find, like, another guard tower or something, but... I see nothing. We did get a lot of experience points for taking out some of these enemies, though, so... I guess we didn't come away all the way empty-handed. how angry the prisoners were when they rioted. I would hate to have been one of the guards. Thank 
there's the shower area again. If you're just coming in, I'm trying to look for a way to open the door over on this optional prison cell right here. D02106. It does require a computer, but I can't find the computer, sadly. Unless it's that computer that I checked, but it's just, you know, maybe, it's, I don't know, maybe it's glitched or something. Probably isn't, I probably just can't find the right computer. This nonsense. See, the reason I think Mathis might be a recruitable companion is he's the only other person that I've worked with that actually comments when you use your star powers or whatever they call them. Nobody else seems to, you know, care. Except for your companions. See, this is the same computer I keep going back to. And I did say to open all of the doors. And that door was in cell block D, so that's why I'm guessing it might be a glitch. I don't know. Very weird. Let me see. Oh, X to view desktop. No. View windows? Yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe it's... Could be locked. Alright, we'll just go. We'll take off. No, I'm good, Aaron. Thank you, though. I'll peace out without it. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, we got a follower. New follower hype. Uh, query room says, what you building here. am I in? Uh, I guess it's called the lock in Suvorov. The lock. Like a key. Oh, All right, mind. continuing on then. This place is starting to get to me. It could be like maybe a panel next to it. Let me see. Let me listen to the, uh, hmm. You know what? You're right. There might be a hint on the actual computer. They did say something about all the paraphernalia that was being stored in that area. Let me see if there's any other hints here. I do try to go no backseating so I can see if I can figure it out myself. But we'll see. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Not that one. Not that one. All right, so please note that security has come across items in cell D02106 that could be the catalyst for a possible escape attempt. At the time I'm sending this message, that particular cell was unoccupied. Yes, yes, yes. Please keep the cell sealed and we'll investigate after I handle some other issues that have popped onto my radar. Darn, it doesn't say exactly how to do it though. All right, all right. Just says keep it locked. And then I do have the note from that one guy though. Let me see. Yeah, Carter's gig. Okay, Carter. Confirming that the latest code to the utility room is 48611071. The mining crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut through the ice. So I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. Which we've already found the actual when escape the area. The armory, I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, get your ass to the shuttle bay. All right, all right, we got that. This gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what will happen. All right, so it wasn't that one either. I have one more. But I forgot what it was called. One more note from that dude. And this one we could actually read too. Yes, hello Lily. Hmm. I 
don't remember what that other note was called. Uh, best laid plans, or is that the one I just listened to? No, best laid plans. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let's see here. Nice, Jolly Roger. I know it's usually bullshit, but he seemed to have details. After striking up a conversation, I found out the ship was a Galbank transport named Legacy that went down in some remote system during the war. This is exactly the score I've been waiting to find. I need to contact Carter to let him know it's time to get off this rock. He'll have right. the mining details slip into the utility closet and ventilation room. That's where we'll dig. Not up, but through. <laughs> right to the armory. Carter mentioned that security keeps rotating codes on. So there are the more terminals. terminals. In the lock. All terminals so in the lock. To coordinate this carefully. All right, I just gotta find the other terminals then. We'll continue using his locker in the showers area. Drop point for the code to the utility closet. By this time next month, I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. All right, I think I have to find. I do have that number, and that's the cell I'm trying to get into, Quivery Room. But I gotta figure out what computer terminal to go and put that code into. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Mathis, make yourself useful. I swear, I am no Alright, so when I first went this way, there was something on the wall. Over here, where'd it go? I don't know exactly what it was, but there, there was like a little panel on the wall that I could mess with. Maybe closer... to that other cell block, I might be able to find another panel kind of like that. Through the trash. We might as well <sighs> uh, there we go. Alright, let me see. One last shot at this. If not, I'm just gonna let it go. Forget there was any, you know, cool stuff in that cell. Alright, wait, which way am I going? This way? one of these directions. Now I got confused. Well, I'm going this way now. Oh, I sprained my freaking ankle! I knew it! I knew I shouldn't have been jumping around. Alright, I'm gonna look on these walls very carefully. So here is the cell D02106. But when I go up to it, it requires a computer terminal to unlock. Which in that other area, there was just like a panel on the wall that I could mess with. But here. I just don't see the same thing. Let's see, there's the kitchen. Here's the showers. I don't think they'll have a computer thing in the showers, right? Well, I'll take that though. Let's see, here's where we found the actual code. And more prison scrubs. But yeah, I don't think they'd have it. Look at the showers frozen, by the way. It's hilarious. Yeah, I don't think they'd have a computer around here. And here I thought we were gonna be doing something fun, like rob a bank. Shh! Quiet down, Mathis. This is fun. Mathis complaining. The kitchen could have a computer. You know, in the back somewhere. Got more of that Red Harvest whiskey. That. See? 
That's why I think Mathis is a recruitable companion. He's the only other person too that has complained about my over encumbrance. Just like a recruitable companion. I believe there's something going on here. Oh, 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 oh god, oh god. Oh my goodness. Mathis, a little backup would be nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. oh god, oh god. Get him, Mathis, he's level five. Okay, good. I was like, he's level five, you better put him down. All right, well, a bunch of money over here, that's good. Oops. terminals that I see, sadly. Alright, that was showers and kitchen. Oh, what's up here? Oh, security might have a computer in there. Come on, security, don't let me down. Ah, here we go. Oh, it's an intercom. Hmm. Ah, yes, yes, we got an escape piece. High five. Psh. Had to look for the damn panel. There we go. All right, but Look, speaking of intercom, oh, Delgado. Of being stuffed down here to rot. Poor bastards. Delgado, are you still out there? Nope, he's not out there. All right, now we can go see that whatever was in that prison cell was probably not worth it at all. <laughs> I know, right? So optimistic, soul. I gotta love that enthusiasm. Ah, there we go, and it's open. Beautiful. Holy hell, look at this stuff. Alright, look at this. Someone was definitely prepping the bust out of this joint. Yeah, you think so? We got two lock picks, some ammunition there, a stun mine. I'm assuming in case any of the guards, you know, try to follow. An explosive ammo. Hmm. The Furious Technophiles Refined Orion. Or Orion, I should say. Each consecutive just like Fallout 76 with they the Furious effect. Each consecutive hit deals a little bit more damage than the last one. Not bad, that's kinda cool. Alright, I'll take it, I'll take it. Woo, we got it, Mathis. Now we can leave. I know, that was going to bother me if I didn't leave without opening that door. It might have been optional, but to me, it was like the most important thing we could do. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah. I don't have the double jump. I don't have the boost pack with this character. Or with any of my characters, I should say. Oh, Alright, now how do I get out of this dump? Okay, we're back to the kitchen. I know we have to probably go back up somehow. We're back into the security. Bypass that area. We'll get out of here, escapees. I, I promise if it's the last thing we do. Did I ever open this one? I didn't open this one either. I'm gonna open it right now. No boost pack, are you crazy? You know what's funny? I do have the uh, the jet pack in Fallout 76 and I love it. So it is a little bit crazy that I don't have the boost pack in this game. But I'll be honest, I haven't needed it just yet, so. I even have Marsupial, which allows you to do the higher jump and stuff in 76. So it is kind of funny why I don't have the boost pack in this game. Alright, where am I going? This way? Alright, beep beep. Let's see, how do I get back that way? Probably down here. Mathis! Can't 
believe this is where the fleet Oh, oh god, oh god. Okay, I was like, please don't let me die. Can't resist showing off, can you? Shh. Aw, oh, quick room, that's hilarious. Ooh, a master level lock. You know what? I'll save it right here. See if we can get the master level. This one might take a little time. I'll move the camera too so you guys can see. Oops. Oh, my bad. Wrong thing to do here. There we go. All right, move the camera would be like this. I almost forgot. I was like, wait, how do I move the camera again? All right, there we go. Much better. Oh, what's up, Chrisan? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the compliment. Yeah, you like my black hair now? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Don't worry, I'll bring back the rainbow bangs uh, pretty soon. I was just waiting until summer was over. All right, so any of these, do I need these exactly for the last area? I'm guessing I'm going to have to... Let me save some of these singular little notches or whatever they're called. This one says it fits here. Oh, maybe right here. I was going to say, but I don't see it. Hmm. All right, we'll go with that one and this one. Oh man, I don't know. I guess, yeah, let's try this one. And another of the one notchers. Try this with that, maybe. I'm guessing it's maybe this with this one here. Oh, oh, I messed it up. Oh, I forgot there was no third notch there. Oh, I goofed it up. I messed it up, escapees. All right, we can go back once, I believe, right? It does cost me a digit pick, though. All right, so if I have that one. Then, what, what's the other one I use? This one right here? Alright, we'll go like that. That. I don't even know how I messed it up last time. That's weird. And then we'll just use these two that are right here. Yay! Good. All right, now I can move the camera back. I just moved it down so you guys could see the lock picking options. Uh, let's see, fix it. You go here, manage the stream, move the camera right there. Perfect. All right, it looks good. Excellent. But yeah, thank you for hanging out, Escabies. Dude, this was a crazy quest. I honestly did not think this one was going to take as long as it did. I think this might be the only quest that we get to today, <laughs> which is insane. I'm still waiting my options too, I don't know. So let me check my... We're doing this quest for the Crimson Fleet, but I'm actually betraying them. Let me check my other side of the quest, which is Burden of Proof. Must return evidence to Lieutenant Toft. So it doesn't say that we have to directly betray them just yet. But... I think maybe before I, you know, travel home and stuff, we should travel to the UC Vigilance and see what they say. Because they might say, okay, cut your ties with the Crimson Fleet. Or they might say we need more. 
which I'm guessing is probably what they're going to want us to get is more evidence. All right. Uh, but first, I don't actually want to. Oh, okay, no, no. I thought I selected the other one. Okay, we're good. Wait, I did select the other one. Never mind, sorry. There we go. We still want to work on echoes of the past. All right. We're almost ready to get out of here. What I wouldn't give for a space heater and a hot cup of box right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going, Mathis. We're going. Oh, yeah. This is the room where, yeah, it had the, the cut door, right? Right here. Yep, looks like armory. they did. Yep, they looks cut like into they the armory. This place out. They did indeed. So there was a prison break. Well, well, what do we Ooh, have here? What is that? Uh, give me a sec. What is it? This I might want it. Oh, he took it. You son of a bee. Why do you get the cool ass item? I wanted that too. How dare he? Now if I have to fight well, him, he's right. gonna kick Let's my keep ass. Open. Great. Where's mine, You're huh? Us down. You're slowing us down. Your mother's slowing us down, Mathis. Throwing a little mom joke there. did clear this place out, didn't they? If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry. Oh, I'll think of myself. Alright, it sounds like something horrible is on the other side of the door. Show me what your new gun can do. Whoa, 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 dude, he's shining it at me. You guys see that aiming reticle on our screen? He's trying to shoot me. You be careful where you're aiming that. Dead folks there. The event supervisor. Let's see what the event supervisor had to say. What say you? Wayne, we're going to have to put a stop to the prisoner birthday celebrations that you instituted last year. I understand that the morale of the prisoners is directly connected to how well they rehabilitate. These events have become far too destructive and dangerous. I know this is disappointing, but at the end of the day, we're a prison facility, not a hotel. These people are here because they committed heinous crimes against humanity, so they're just going to have to deal with the loss of these parties. Oh, rest in peace. Prison birthday parties. That's a bummer. That sucks for them. Uh, oh, there's the answers to the trivia questions. Nice. What type of star pulsates rapidly, which causes it to vary in diameter, temperature, and luminescence? Or luminance. A. 
Cephid? Cephid. Cephid, a variable star. I thought it was a dying star. What is another name for a neutron star with an extremely powerful magnetic field that might occur after super, supernova? It's a magnetar. I thought it was a black hole. What is the cent second brightest star in New Atlantis's night sky? Canopus. What are the largest known structures in the universe? Galaxy filaments. What is the graph called on which the intrinsic brightness of stars is plotted against their temperatures? The Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. I got zero out of five on that one. <laughs> yeah, I thought I got something with black hole, but apparently wrong, wrong, wrong. UC must have burned some serious cash when they lost this place. <laughs> that power is kind of freaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me something I don't know. Dude, I'll be honest, escapees, I'm ready to get out of here. I'm so done with this stupid prison. <laughs> I'm bored of this prison. I know, let's just get out of here. How do we, where's the exit? Help. Over encumbered. It's freaking cold in here. And I'm miserable. And you're damn right, Matthias. They aren't paying us enough to be here. Let's kill the rest of these creatures and be on our way. Alright, going through what looks like another cafeteria. There's a lot of cafeterias here. Incoming. Look lively! I'm going through! office. Let's see if we rendezvous with Delgado or not. Which I have a bone to pick with him. He should have been down there helping us with all these creatures. Delgado, are you still alive? Where are you at? Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to read any of those, to be honest. Where are you, Delgado? Oh, there you are. Oh, there he is. Trust me, I was not screwing around. You I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired Dude, of Dude, you and me both, Delgado. I'm fucking exhausted. Uh, I did find some uh, information about Crick's legacy, though. No thanks to Matthias over here, who barely lifted a finger. I knew it. Everyone said I was out of my mind. Oh, he doesn't even but care. something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right person for the job. Hey, what the hell? This is bullshit, Delgado. I helped plenty. No, he didn't. That madness? Tell him to shut up. I will deal with him later. Yeah, he's useless. Whatever. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. Hurry up, Delgado. I'm tired. The rock. And I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from oh, here. Oh no, but please. I can open the outer door no more of those bay, creepy crawly little face hugger looking aliens. The key. Oh man. All right, I mean, well, what about my ship? Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. I don't trust you anyone else driving our ship. That shuttle and get out of here. All right, well, I mean, hmm. 
If Mathis and I take the shuttle, how are you getting back, though? According to the schematics, there is an emergency evacuation exit I can use to return to the surface. Then oh no, it's just sounds a quick suspicious. Run the ice to my ship, and I'll probably still be into the key. Hmm. I don't know. I'd rather meet up so we could leave at the same time if it was possible. Yeah, sure. And I wish gold coins would start raining from the sky. <laughs> I wish too. Now, if wishing time is over, maybe you'd be kind enough to stop running your mouth and listen for a change. All right, all right. I'll okay. go to the fucking shuttle. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yep. That's got it. Might take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. They're rusty. You have done a hell of a job. And probably frozen. We will talk when you get back to the key. All right. See, he wasn't dead, Mathis. Saying that Delgado is dead. Imagine if we had proceeded as if he was. He'd be pointing the gun right at us. Oh, I do have to still talk to him, though. Let's see. What you want, Mathis? Why the hell did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't <laughs> do all this work alone. Let me see. I'll, maybe I'll let them tell Delgado what you were playing. Yeah, yeah, huh? Don't change the subject. Yeah, you've been trying to get me to kill Delgado this whole time. Hey, come on. Mm -hmm. I was just looking out for both of us. I could have cut you out of the deal, but I didn't, right? And I could have cut you out of the deal, too. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Uh-huh. I mean, you know what? I'll think about it. Oh, you're gonna be like that, huh? Well, I guess I've been it. like that the whole time, my brother. No, let's get the heck out of here. All right, let's go. Come on. Oh, is there a, a key for this lock or something? Oh God. Okay. We're, oh, here we go. That's what's you up gotta right there. Leave some Ooh. things behind. Nice! That was actually a good spacesuit. It might be better than the one that I have right now. Which is kind of sad because that's the Mantis' spacesuit. And uh, it looks nice, actually. Oh man, this one blows it out of the water. Oh, and it, well, at least it looks decent, too. Uh, this one has ablative, minus 15% incoming energy damage. Galvanize, plus 25% corrosive resistance. And incendiary. 10% chance to ignite nearby attackers. I mean, I don't know. My Mantis suit has that plus 40 carry weight. I kind of like that carry weight. But yeah, definitely better for battles and stuff, though. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. What else do we have here? Sure, I'll open it up. Well, I apologize, escapees, if this quest got a little bit... Well, to me, in all honesty, it got a little boring and just like a little bit, like it dragged on, dude. This quest dragged on just a hair bit. Where I am ready to leave. And continue helping out the Crimson fleet do other stuff now, hopefully. Alright, let's see. If I have that one, that one conflicts with that one, though. Any of these that I don't need for the bottom? That one, that one, and that one. And then I could use maybe this three right there. Okay, we got it. That one, this one. That possibly fits right there. And then I need something that looks like this a little bit. Let's see. It looks like it fits. Kind of interesting though. I wonder what would have happened if I did go along with Matthias's plan. Would we have killed Delgado down here? 
knows? Alright, you know what? I'll quick save it right there. Or you know what? Let's hard save real quick. I might come back after the stream is over and just, you know, kind of search this area on my own. But in the meantime, let's get to that shuttle. Come on, Matthias, we're supposed to get to the shuttle. I don't know how exactly, though. Hmm. I'm not going to bother opening up that other lock, either. There we go. Oh my god, not again! Oh, I thought I was done with these. Of course we're never done with these. I'm just skipping them, fuzz it. I'm out of here. Oh, we can't leave until we defeat these creatures, can we? Damn it. So much for an emergency shuttle. dramatic all right oh let's get out of here oh man what a weird ship where's the uh where's the cockpit oh here it is there we go and it's still snowing outside hmm. 
All right, uh, yeah, let's take off. Excellent, yay, escapees, we did it. We're finally out of that godforsaken prison. It took way too long. I was done with it. I am like done with that. <laughs> I was tired of those face-hugging creatures. I'm like, nope, I'm good. Didn't even care if the last boss was a giant one. I was so done with those damn aliens. As soon as we ran into them in the beginning, I was like, ah, oh, that's enough of that. All right, let's see here. What's next on the agenda? I have saving no idea, Doring fan. Saving the galaxy. Woo! Saving the universe. Saving the universe sounds nice and exhausting. All right, let's board right there. And there, escapees, I'm going to leave it. We'll go ahead and talk to these people next time, but I'm starving, I'm hungry. Uh, I'm done with uh, fighting those same enemies over and over again. Oh my God. That was the bane too, is that there weren't any different enemies in there. It was all that same creature. They're all level five. The highest one was like level 35, except for the boss, of course. So, you know, I knew that there wasn't gonna be very much of an issue there. Then everything was locked. I had to lock pick through a bunch of stuff. I don't know, and then it was back and forth with those computer terminals. Oh man, after a while, I'll be honest, that drove me a little bit crazy. <laughs> oh man, well, I do apologize if it got a little bit boring there. Um, yeah, I just, oh man, I felt like it dragged on for sure. So I do apologize if it got a little boring escapees. I'm gonna save it there. Thank you again for the amazing stream. We got a good four and a half hours in. Shout out to Sweet Taiga for the amazing raid earlier. Shout out to uh, the people that were gifting out subs and stuff. I am the shadow, send the boom, vicious panda. Thank you to Thor for the biddies. Thank you guys for all the love today. It was an amazing stream. I just felt like that prison part dragged on just a little bit too long for my own liking and stuff. Well, I mean, okay, if it had different enemies and there was a bit more challenge and stuff, I would have been like, okay. But the only challenging part were finding like those hidden panels and stuff. Other than that, I was like, ah, oh, level five enemy. Oh, another same enemy level 10, you know. It was just a little bit too easy. I'll be honest, okay. I wish, and they might even do this later on because they did it with uh, Fallout 76. I'm running into the same problem that we had early, early, early in Fallout 76. And what I'm saying early is before all the updates that Fallout 76 had. When we used to play Fallout 76 year one, it was like Star uh, Starfield a little bit where certain areas were certain levels. For example, like New Atlantis, all the enemies are like level one through level five or so, right? And it never changes. That's how it was in Fallout 76 for a while. One side of the map was like super easy, level one through level fives could, you know, hang out and uh, practice and level up in that section. And then you could go slowly to the more eastern side of the map where the enemies were stronger, level 50, et cetera, et cetera. Well, it started to get a little bit weird or unbalanced because once you are out of the level one to level five range and you're able to, you know, kick those enemies' asses really easily, there was like no choice besides to go on to the eastern side of the map where the enemies started to get a little bit harder. In other words, there was like no real reason to stick around to the easier side of the map. Once you were done, you just go on to the other side. And so what they did in 76 to try to combat that to make all of the map kind of fun again is that they have leveled the enemies to your particular character's level. So for example, instead of running into those level five creatures, I would have run into creatures that were more on the same level that we are, which is 41 right there to the left of my character. So I think, I don't know, I hope they might maybe do that because, okay, I'll be honest. So I've been playing this game a lot and I play a lot off stream and that's why I'm like so high level, even though I'm not crazy far in the main story. Well, if you look around on the star map, you see Crix right there. It says level 20 towards the, a little bit to the left of where the name is right here. Level 20, right? So they recommend you be level 20 if you're in this area. So yeah, it is my fault that I'm hanging around a low level area, but 
at the same time, I'm just saying, like, look at Cheyenne, level 1, super easy enemies, but they're so close to each other. In my opinion, it'd be a little bit better, a little bit more challenging if they were just to raise all the levels of the worlds to kind of like match your character. So you kind of stay with the challenge. Sure, they can keep the, the other higher level uh, planets and stuff to like, where is it at? Level 60 or something, level 35 over here. But I'm just saying, you know, they're kind of, just for me and my own, uh, what do you call it? There's like a level 75 that I haven't even been to and stuff. So maybe it's my fault that I need to, you know, start exploring a little bit farther out there. But just in my own, you know, personal preference, I think it'd be a lot better if some of these earlier areas in the game kind of scaled to your level. Because most of the main quests and stuff go through like Cheyenne, New Atlantis, they go through like the lower level planets and all that. So all of these quests have been, they've not been super challenging. And all they're kind of doing is just throwing like a bunch of the same enemy at you. And they're just like, you know, maybe one of them was 35. The boss at the end was like level 50 or so. But, uh, you know, I don't know. It just, it wasn't super challenging. So I got bored. I'll be honest. I got a little bit bored to the end of that quest line. But, you know, that's just what I'm saying. It's just something that I noticed. It's a little bit like Fallout 76. Maybe they'll change it a little bit. I mean, they changed 76 to, um, you know, to make it a better, give players a better challenge and you know as they increase their levels and stuff but yeah that's just my only complaint there all right i'll stop complaining i'll stop complaining all right escapees thank you so much for hanging out i am going to leave the stream there um next stream we'll pick up where we left off here i'm not sure if i have to i know we're eventually going to betray the crimson fleet but i'm not sure if i have to betray them just yet or if I can continue, you know, working with them a little bit. But I'll work as far as we can with the Crimson Fleet before I have to, you know, cut it off and uh, betray them and stuff. So we'll see. Yeah, thank you again, Send the Boom. Thank you for all the love. Thank you, Escapees, for being here. Um, I did notice that chat kind of died out too, so I, I do apologize if we got a little boring, Escapees. Uh, you know, I'll try to pick it up next stream as well. Uh, but yeah, huge love to the gifters. Uh, real quick too, if you're enjoying the stream or if you did enjoy it, please consider checking out the social media. Never have to. I was wearing a French maid outfit yesterday, so this is the first time I've actually shown up on stream in a costume. Well, this year. First time this year that I've been in costume on stream. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, we got a follower right there. Thank you again, escapees. Uh, but if you do want to check out our social media, the links are right there in the chat. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, OnlyFans. Uh, what else? I guess that's it, huh? Discord. <laughs> All that good stuff. Link right there. Soul underscore escape. Capital S-C-U-L underscore 3-S-C-4-P-3. Capital S-C-U-L underscore 3-S-C-4-P-3. Thank you again, you guys. If you want to join any of my um, Snapchat or Gamertag, Gamertag down there at the bottom, Soul Space Escape. Capital S-O-U-L space 3-S-C-4-P-3, S-O-U-L space 3-S-C-4-P-3, or my gamertag up there, or no, that was my gamertag. My Snapchat, Solar Escape, a little bit of a name change, S-O-U-L, Z-O-U-R, 3-S-C-A-P-E. Once again, all those links are right there in the chat, or if you're on mobile, somewhere down there. Thank you again, you guys. Good stream. Whoo, currently at 9,800 followers, I believe. Couldn't have done it without your help, your hosts, your retweets, people in chat, lurkers. Thank you. Once again, my name is Soul Escape. I've been streaming on Twitch since 2015. It's been wild. It has been wild. Thank you again for the follows. Thank you, guys. Have a good rest of your Monday. Catch you next time. As always, my friends, ever onward, ever forward. See you next time on the Soul Stream. Peace. Bye, everybody. Have a good Monday. And happy Tuesday tomorrow, too.